Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you may be watching from today, whether you're over in the States across the pond, watching in Finland, or at home in the UK. Perhaps you're even having a barbecue down in Australia. Nobody knows these days. You join us here in sunny Birmingham, United Kingdom. Myself and Joe Walker, of, well, Head of Sales for Football America now, I believe is your title. That's correct, yeah. How are you doing today, Joe? I'm great. It's fantastic. Lovely uh, weather here in Birmingham. Uh, a great day for some football. Of course, we're down here for the inaugural Pro Cloud Trophy of the second game. Today looks to be a feisty one between the Birmingham Lions and the Finnish Helsinki Wolverines. Last night, the Wolverines played their first game against the New York Sharks in what was a disappointing loss for them, really. You saw that game last night. Just uh, just talk us through it. Yeah, it was a great game of football, really, and, and, and one that was definitely worth... Uh, advertising for, for uh, international football across uh, across the world. Uh, really fantastic performance by both teams. Um, very, very uh, competent performance by both as well. Really fantastic running game from the from the Helsinki Wolverines and, and one that we'll look forward to seeing again today. Um, and a very competent passing game from the, from the New York Sharks. Small New York Sharks uh, travelling squad there, um, but they did really well. And um, I'll be interested in seeing what happens today and again what happens in the game tomorrow. Yeah, Kusin and uh, the power back for the Helsinki Wolverines last night, really running all over the Sharks when she wanted to. Unfortunately, the scoreline didn't go as well, losing out 27-14 in what, to be fair, was a close game. The scoreline doesn't really give it justice with those Wolverines winning out in the second half, seven to zip. And as you say, and everybody else we've spoken to already, that game could have gone either way. Yeah, I think it was, uh, it was a game that was probably made up really uh, the difference maker was was a few passes here and there, uh, you know, a few errant passes, unfortunately, from the Wolverines, and then um, and some some excellent passes really from the Sharks. So, you know, a little a little bit of that not happening, and it would would have gone either way. And as you say, Kusinen, fantastic running back for Helsinki, and one that will will be very enjoyable to watch today. Um, very very powerful, excellent out the backfield with her hands, and um, I, I think she w she might be the if she if there's going to be somebody to be a difference maker for Helsinki today, it will be her. Um, Fantastic line play by both teams as well. And I think uh, to see the Lions stepping up to a, to an 11-man game, or 11-woman game, should I say, um, will be an interesting step up. You'll see how they, they do today with a five-man line. And, of course, the defensive front really stepped up, stopping the Sharks' prominent running game throughout. Just uh, with Ruth Matter in the backfield for the Lions, just just tell us how, how that will work for them. Well, she's an explosive back. You know, She's somebody who can be a real difference maker. And if you don't uh, wrap her up in the first five yards of, the, of, of a run, she can you know, be, be somebody who explodes down the field and, and gives you some real problems and headaches. She's elusive and she's fast if she, if she gets into the, back, into, the, into the sort of open field. So what the Wolverines will be looking to do is try and bottle her up, up a little bit, keep her behind that line, and hopefully she won't be squirting out into some uh, decent space and to be able to make some decent runs. Yeah, so this game looking like it could be a tasty game. Obviously, for those that don't know, both of these teams today are national champions. Uh, the Finnish uh, champions, the Helsinki Wolverines. We might be able to take a look at their uh, scoreboard for the season uh, in just a moment. Uh, there you go, just flashing up that uh, that league table. And actually looking down that uh, points for 179, proving that uh, they really can move the ball. And points against as well. Defense looking solid, beating out Helsinki Roosters into that second uh, in that second spot. And defense really was a factor last night for both teams. Yeah, and fantastically, um, you know, organized, ma making sure that they're they're, they're um, excuse me, properly set on defense and not understanding what their what their gap responsibilities were. There was no, no glaring mistakes in there. I think that uh, you know, pass pass coverage at this level it can be quite difficult and quite a challenge and maybe a bit of a step up. Um, but they did. They, they was were fantastic in, in defending the run particularly. And I think that uh, at this level we want to see that that happening. We don't want to see there being you know huge differences in the run game. Um, but you know, hopefully today we'll see we'll see a, a balanced game from both sides. So the Finnish team yesterday starting at six a.m. their time, uh, flying over, playing a football game, always a tough ask, um, and then having to play less than twenty four hours later. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you know, last night was a hard hitting game. There was a couple of you know big injuries for both sides, and some people were you know probably feeling extremely sore this morning. To be able to then have to come out and play again at four p.m. After a seven uh, seven a.m. Ki seven p.m. kickoff yesterday is a huge ask for the Helsinki Wolverines. The question is, can they survive through this game? And I think Birmingham have done sort of quite well for themselves in in the organisation of the program. Let the two foreign teams play against each other on Friday night. Let them soften each other look, soften each other up a little bit for them to come and play against Helsinki today. 
Now, obviously, you've got the, the, the second game with New York tomorrow. New York will have had a, a day to rest and a day to actually scout the Lions in person. But I think uh, Helsinki are the people who have maybe got the, the short end of, um, of the, sort of the stick a little bit here. Uh, you know, they're they're going to be struggling um, on, on very, very short amounts of time between two, two really very you know, hard-hitting games. Yeah, and we managed to catch up with the head coach of the Helsinki Wolverines that talked us through that recovery process with them. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Coach. How are you, How are you doing, doing today? today? I'm, I'm fine, fine, thanks. <laughs> a bit tired, <laughs> but getting, getting there. there. A, long a long day for you yesterday, yesterday I'm sure. sure. Um, <laughs> you've obviously had that, uh, that very, very long day with those flights starting, starting early in the morning. morning. A, a tough, tough loss yesterday, yesterday but uh, uh, your team, team played, played that they well, showed, showed that they could play to a high standard. Tell us your thoughts after yesterday's game. We thought that the second second half was great for us. We came came in fighting. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, it, it wasn't, wasn't enough, enough to t- get, get, get the win, win uh, after, after, after the horrendous, horrendous second, 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 quarter second quarter that we had. But uh, I, 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 I take a lot of responsibility on that. that. I, I made some, some uh, questionable, questionable calls, calls play calling wise, wise, but uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a learning experience, and we're looking not to repeat it today. Yeah, you obviously showed that you could play competitive second half, though, winning out 7 0. Just talk us through that and how you got the offense moving again in that third quarter. Uh, we, we we had, had scouted, 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 scouted the, the sharks, sharks well, well, and we we, we, we didn't know what they they, they were doing, and um, we, we we made some 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 good decisions on halftime on what, what what we want to attack. Uh, we noticed some players that we wanted to attack, and uh, we were able to move the ball because of that. Yesterday, um, of course, for anyone watching the game at home, there were a number of injuries. Just tell us, has it put anyone out of today's game, or is there any injury concerns? Uh, we we. We we actually lost only one player player since yesterday. Yannick Nikon that will not be playing today, but otherwise we survived survived quite well uh, without without injuries. Yeah, tough game yesterday, that's for sure. Obviously, coming into a game less than 24 hours after finishing a game, uh, recovery is going to be key. Just tell us what you guys have done to try and help these bodies repair. Uh, w- we've got a lot of experienced experienced players who've who've been playing in the national team and this kind of tournament, so we're not too worried about it. Uh, uh, mainly mainly <laughs> doing cool downs and stretching in between the games is, is crucial and uh, getting a lot of rest and uh, nu- nu- nutrition has been key. Your running game was quite prominent yesterday um, yes. in comparison to your passing game, whilst you got it moving again in that third and fourth quarter. Is the game plan today going to be to run that ball? It is. Uh, we, we, we trust our running game to be to be um, c- c- competitive and uh, we'll have a different quarterback starting today uh, one that can actually even run run herself so uh, that's going to probably be a a small wrinkle that we've changed from yesterday yeah so a different dynamic for you coming yes. into this game you've had uh, obviously from from what you've said just before we talked uh, a, a good time so far I think yes. is as a reception um, been okay you happy with how things have come into this uh, everything's been great um, uh, the premises and the atmosphere is is, is great here and uh, it's, it's been it's, it's been a fun fun ride so far and uh, we're looking forward to more more quality football today and of course uh, your opponents today the Birmingham Lions have been across to Finland and, and yes. played some some other teams I don't think they, they played yourself they actually did play they us did as play well. you guys as yes. well so um, how are you thinking? What are your thoughts coming into this game? You know they're a competitive outfit. Yes, they're they're well coached. They have a lot of uh, talented athletes. Uh, uh, we're looking to especially take out their um, uh, their uh, running back Ruth Mada. She, she she has to be stopped if if we if we want to stop their offense. Yeah, you did a great job stopping that running game today, and hopefully, whilst this a different running back with Ruth Mata in comparison to the Sharks backs yesterday. Hopefully your defensive front can do that, and they, they yes. obviously played had a great game stopping that run. So, coach, thank you kindly for speaking to us. We'll uh, we'll let you get back to your role this afternoon, and all the best. Yeah, thank you. So some interesting words there from the head coach. Then um, a change of quarterback, different dynamic of more run, uh, more mobile quarterback. That's going to bring a different uh, different process, different mindset perhaps for the defense to uh, to try and focus on. Yeah, absolutely, and maybe take some away some of that uh, focus from in a way I think if you uh, if you've got a feature back and one that's as talented as she is then maybe putting somebody else in the backfield who can be a, a secondary running threat somebody to um, to occupy the minds of, of a Birmingham Lions defense minus Phoebe Schechter should we say you know it's a big it's a big ask 
um, for this defense to be minus their, their, their captain. Um, it could be a bit of a challenge for them. It could be something that's going to make a big difference for them today. Yeah, so the Lions moving on to them. The hometown team organized this tournament, and so far it's been a great tournament from what we've seen with, uh, with the Sharks taking on the, uh, the Wolverines last night. The GB, uh, the GB, they're not the GB Lions, are they? The, the Birmingham Lions, but a lot of them are playing for, for the Great British squad, a talented squad, but not playing a lot of 11-woman football um, so far. Only around about two and a half hours worth of game time. That's really going to affect their affect them. But they went out to Finland and really dominated out there. Yeah, that nine-man tournament was fantastic last year, and I think that they showed how how dominant they can be, even even them being the travelling team. I think that uh, today is going to be a difference um, for them. You know, they've got to go to, to being a five-woman offensive line, and that's going to be something that uh, can be a bit of a challenge because those those blocking schemes change. You know, you might need you, you need to have you've got more more defenders in the box. You know, it's something that might make a huge difference. And if you watch any um, under nineteen football in the UK you'll see that difference in the, the width of the running game speed running game wide stuff that Ruth Matter is really really good at is stuff that's going to be taken away by a five-man line so it's going to be a challenge for them so as autumn draws closer and the leaves start to fall off the tree around Orchard Park a new flower blossoms in the coaching career of Phoebe Schechter uh, she has been signed by the Buffalo Bills for a full season and a great honor for her but no doubt a bit of a bittersweet taste for these Lions who really lose their defensive talisman. We managed to catch up with the head coach of the Lions who had this to say. Good afternoon, coach. How are you doing today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Sun is shining. Positive day for football? Beautiful day for football. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful day. Let's touch on it quickly then. Your thoughts on the tournament so far? Obviously, first game was last night. Did you come down and have a look? We certainly did. Yeah, yeah. We were, we were out in force uh, watching the first game. I thought it was a cracking game. Uh, I th at, some at one point, I thought it could go either way. Uh, I think uh, I think the Wolverines definitely surprised the Sharks on, on, on more than more than a couple of levels. Definitely, yeah, just a shame that uh, it ended up the way that it did, you know. But uh, yeah, it's an exciting game, giving you some uh, opportunities, early opportunities to scout both uh, both teams from last night's uh, last night's showcase piece. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously we've been doing our homework on both teams uh, leading up to this game, um, so not too many changes from what we we're expecting. So that's that's encouraging. That's for us so for you guys whilst you've got a lot of uh, GB Lions yeah um, you haven't played a lot of 11 aside football I think is fair to say in comparison to <laughs> some of these teams how do you think you'll shape up throughout this tournament um, obviously we're you know we're quite we're confident and that's been you know a, a led to a lot of our success I mean we went to Finland uh, having never played an 11 aside football match and and you know and came away victorious having you know beaten teams that have been playing 11 aside for, for years so the fact that we've got so many players playing GB in, in 11s has helped us knit together um, uh, quite quite well. So, yeah, I think we'll think I think we'll do all right. I think we'll do all right. You've uh, obviously seen last night's game, and no doubt you've tried to watch some of the footage this morning as well. Yeah. It will have been a late night for you, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. The run game of the Wolverines was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, yeah. The pass game, a little bit lacking, but the run game really the key for them. How are you looking to stop that today? Oh, definitely. You know, uh, 34 is a, is a big is a big threat. It's a big threat, and uh, I know uh, Brian, our DC, is uh, is game plan to to take care to take care of her in, in any in all means necessary, essentially. So I think if we can, uh, if certainly if we can shut down their shut down their running game, it's going to put an awful lot of pressure on their pass. So that's certainly going to be one of the key one of the keys today, definitely. You are missing a number of key players. Just yeah, talk us are. through some of those and how oh, they're yeah, going to affect yeah. the game. I mean, um, uh, Michelle Gwynn, uh, starting starting left guard, got run over earlier earlier on this year. Uh, tr you know, tragic accident. You know, uh, Phoebe Schechter uh, had to got a call up to go and help coach with the Buffalo Bills. And uh, Lucy Kirk, three, you know, three all-star, all-star players, and you know, you don't, you don't replace players like that, just like that. So yes, we are definitely wanting for those players without, without shadow of a doubt. But you know, we've got depth, and we've got unbelievable team spirit, and an absolute will to win. Uh, so you know, I think that's gonna, that's gonna come through for us, hopefully. Yeah, just touching on Phoebe, although the loss of a key offensive line woman will be a massive loss for your offense I'm sure just touching on Phoebe how how do you feel about that obviously getting a, a full-time role almost with the with the Buffalo Bills for a season uh, to be honest we knew Phoebe's wings were gonna burn too bright and ultimately she was gonna fly away uh, you know the right was on the wall a long long time ago and you know ultimately we're you know we're, we're super proud of the fact that we've been able to provide that platform for her to go off and you know live the dream so to speak you know I'm sure that any number of players would love to, love to do that and we wish her all the best 
in comparison to the two running backs from both sides of it, the stable of running backs really for the Sharks. Uh, Ruth Mata, who I'm assuming is likely to be starting for you today, yeah. is a, a different style of runner, not that real power back. No. While she can run through people, we've seen that. Yeah. Uh, what's your game plan going to be with that more of a finesse offense? Yeah, d definitely. I mean, Ruth is without a doubt our feature, our feature back. Um, you know, she's carried the load with this with our football team for many, many years, and teams teams have, have struggled to stop her ability to find that little chink in the defense and break into open space. Uh, yes, obviously, but then you know we've got the likes of you know Hannah Pye, another GB wide receiver who uh, who will be counting on, as well as another up and coming receivers, hopefully to take some of the load. Because I, I know obviously that the Wolverines are going to be keen to stop Wolverines, as we're keen to stop their 34. So. It's going to be an interesting. It's going to be an interesting game today. Coach, quote. thank you kindly for taking the time to speak to us. Best of luck for the game. Thanks very much. So, coach, there saying that Ruth Mata, a very important prospect, a very important runner for them today. Different style of runner from what we saw last night. What are your thoughts on her? She's inc incredibly talented and has been incredibly talented for any teams that she's played for, including Great Britain. You know, small back, you know, elusive, um, very very fast. And if she gets into the open, we'll, we'll punish her team. And so, you know, Helsinki have got their work cut out for them today, keeping her, keeping her bottled up. And it's just whether or not, um, you know, Helsinki can make the Lions pass the ball to try and win the game, I think. And that's the important thing, to be honest. Yeah, and we know that the Lions can pass as well. They've got some talented receivers as well. It's going to make for an interesting game, that's for sure. Absolutely. Do you dare put a prediction in? <laughs> I think you always ask me for a prediction, George. Oh, of course. Or at least Matt does. Um, <laughs> I would say that it's going to be a closer game than it was last night. Um, if the Lions can get a running game going, then I can see the Helsinki Wolverines struggling um, with playing two games in less than 24 hours. Um, but if they keep the, the run game you know, challenging for the Lions, if they keep them challenged and, and keep them bottled up a little bit, I can see Helsinki potentially pushing them a bit further and deeper into the game than they would probably want to go heading into tomorrow's game as well. Yeah, certainly going to be an intriguing game, that's for sure. For those of you that didn't join us last night, let's just tell you a little bit about the game format. It's all about 11s, all about 11s. They've got 11 women um, on, each, uh, on each side of the field, all 22. And of course, they've got 11 minute quarters. You will join us just in a second after we've gone through these national anthems. Following that Finnish national anthem, we'll be moving on to the Great British national anthem. What a great honour for these uh, these two teams. Whilst they're not playing under the Great British or the Finnish banner, uh, very much an international competition. And I think I think that a lot of these are, are believing that they're representing their country on this stage. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Any time you're playing on in any type of international competition, you are representing your programme, your brand, and, and you are representing your country as well. I think that uh, if anybody's not doing that, they're under some sort of strange illusion. You, you might need to make sure that you're playing your best football whenever you're in, under this sort of spotlight. Yeah, very much so. And the Lions, a, a prominent programme in the British game and all all 
assets uh, all levels of the of the game they've obviously done a great job with their youth program just winning the plate final they had a little bit of a blip this year with the juniors but the university and of course the uh, the, the ladies team behind us doing a great job um, you've obviously been around them um, you know a few of these girls how do you think they're coming into this game I think they're probably coming in supremely confident. They've wanted to be playing 11, 11 women football for a long time, and I think that uh, they'll be they'll be passionate about making sure that they show themselves off, you know, quite well today. Um, they'll be wanting to get a good game under their belt and making some, making sure that they are making the mistakes that they need to make today, rather than against a, a, a New York opposition tomorrow that could. Uh, really really punish them for those sorts of mistakes so joe thank you kindly for joining us for this pre-show in okay. a second you will be joining myself and tom henley in the commentary booth right after this we are the official uk distributors of retailers for riddell rawlings wilson footballs nike and under armor this gives us the largest range of products in the uk we also offer team merchandise. We can supply a full range of clothing, all printed and embroidered in-house. Please feel free to visit our showroom at 8 Hill Lane Industrial Estate, Markfield, Leicester, LE67, 9pm. So shortly we'll be heading down for kickoff. That uh, change of quarterback for the Finns could prove to be an interesting call, making for a more mobile backfield and really drawing the eye away from Kusinen, who had a phenomenal game last night. Of course, this weekend's not just about football. It's about raising some money and some awareness for the Birmingham Children's Hospital. You can find the page, the Just Giving page, and uh, by searching for the ProCloud tournament, and I'm sure any money that you can give will be greatly received. So, the Finnish Wolverines will be kicking off this game to start with the Lions looking to return. Number 82, uh, Hannah Pye, a talented young receiver, uh, looking to return the ball. Alongside number 10 of the Lions, Ruth Matter, a name we've mentioned a couple times already in this pre-show. Tom, you join us, like I did last night, last minute. I was busy doing a photo shoot. A photo shoot. I, I wasn't aware that you were a model. How are, oh. you, uh, how are you feeling about today? Good. I'm excited to see what our Lions can do today. Of course, you are a product of the Birmingham Lions. Well, Nottingham Caesars first and foremost, but a Lion at the university. And it looks like a squib kick, whether that was an intentional one, as Pi takes it up and looks to get a seam up field, but well wrapped up by that Helsinki special teams unit so it's gonna be around about a 30 yard marker to start with tell you what Helsinki is showing that they love their contact still after last night showing against New York coming first day after the Lions from that opening kickoff so the Lions will be coming out to start this drive they of course watched the Helsinki Wolverines last night an intriguing game of course you were here as well operating our scoreboard um, what did you think? What did you make of last night's game? What a good level of football. What a good game we had last night. Um, genuinely, 11 man side, 11 a lady side of football, incredibly good. Looked like a top, top level game in Britain. So it is a handoff to that lady, Ruth Matter, trying to find a seam up the middle, picking up a few yards there. Kilby, Joe Kilby, the lady in there at quarterback, a retired great British team member. And, uh, and really a key factor behind this tournament, organising an awful lot of it. It's going to bring up around about a second and seven. It's a lovely day here at the University of Birmingham. Yeah, Great day for football. Yeah, nice facility as well. Kilby this time not starting under centre, but starting in that shotgun formation with Mata in the backfield. Three receivers to the right as she looks to pass. 
And actually, it's a pitch, a low pitch to Mata, who finds a seam. And actually, she's taken off. She's going to get big yards, a flag on the play. But it looks like Mata might make it all the way into the end zone. I would think as Kilby waves her arm in the backfield, it's likely to be a holding call very much. But Ruth Mata. Yeah. What speed. And uh, we weren't gassing her up by any means in pre-show. That really is what Ruth Mata can do. I think she's got a lot of luck when onside come around. The GB games. Yeah, just a low toss, but Mata looking it Look in at all that. the way, finding a gap and good blocking um, initially, but not really picking up anything downfield as Mata just turns on the burners. Look at that, back up straight, really in that sprinter stance and taking it all the way to the house, but sadly it will be pulled back. It's going to be second down, and we'll uh, we'll see where they mark him. I think they're actually going to mark him. It should uh, be second and 17. It should be. It depends where they spotted the holding call. Worrying know. sign for Helsinki, though, allowing that big run early on in the game. Yeah, Mata, a much less physical um, runner in terms of build, but can power through tackles if needed. It's a different style of runner that they're having to play against from last night's game. As Kilby starts under centre in a... Well, I formation, but with a slot receiver. Mata, the handoff target again, who finds another seam for a little pickup there. Three plays, three runs. Is that what you were expecting to see, Tom? When you've got a speedster like Ruth Mata in the backfield, don't be surprised if the coaches keep going to that ground game. Yeah, very much so. And, of course, her lead blocker there, uh, Morgan. She's going to have to punch some holes and lead block if they're playing in that sort of I formation that they've got going on. So change out, substitution in. It's going to be a third and around about nine yards for the Lions to try and pick up. See what they can come out with. Of course, that defensive front of the Wolverines last night had a phenomenal game shutting down the run, but not managing to put a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks. And this time, Kilmey's got two running backs in the backfield. No doubt for a little bit of pass protection, but we'll see what comes as matter actually breaks out to the left and they're looking to run again Kilby looking to take it looked like an option play but not really working for them short pickup of around about four yards it's going to be a fourth and five situation for these Lions to try and pick up here got to remember that Birmingham have an extra game worth of film on the Wolverines so it's interesting them going to the speed option early on it's clearly been effective with Matter on that big run came back for holding yeah, it but it's interesting to see if they'll stick through it throughout the game. Yeah, good defense to make that read and shut it down early as the Lions look to punt it away. And it is blocked. And the Wolverines are looking to collect this in a very good spot. And they have nearly on the Lions' 20-yard line. We can't quite get a number on who picked that game up, that ball up. But uh, the Wolverines will be very, very happy with their special teams unit right now. So, of course, that big number 34, completely different style runner to Mata Kusinen, who had a phenomenal game last night, running all over the Sharks and really dominating, proving what the Wolverines can do. No doubt they'll look to her early on. So they are coming out under centre. Linebacker Fear at Law calling the coverage. A little bit of confusion there as the official steps out of the way. And it is a running play to Kusinen, who's found a little bit of a gap, but well contained by the Lions. A pickup of four yards for Kusinen to start with. You obviously saw her running last night. Showed a bit of a, a mix of everything, a little bit of power, a little bit of speed. And uh, even a hurdle, I think, I saw mm. last night as well. So. She nearly ran the Wolverines back into that game there. Unfortunate not to score when they got to fourth and goal. And actually it was a direct snap. Can't quite see everything that's going on from our low uh, level count. field position there. But, uh, have got the quarterback in looking in that spread formation. And a fake handoff. And showing that versatility early is uh, number 12 of, um, of the Helsinki Wolverines, uh, Kosunen. Interesting to see both teams sticking to the ground game early on. Yeah, we know the Wolverines can run, that's for sure. And third in around about one, maybe two yards. See if these Lions can stop anything here. Game finished quite late last night. 
Got to be some heavy legs on that Wolverines team. Oh, and a fumbled snap, and actually well wrapped up by the Lions. Two defensive players flying in, and uh, that bobbled snap by the quarterback really slowing that run game down. It's going to bring up a fourth and maybe three yards. And it looks like they are going to try and go for it here and get a score on the board earlier. Of course, if they don't get it, it's going to put the Lions in a difficult starting field position. And again, lining up in that sort of wildcat formation with Kusinen at the back. And it is a direct snap. And she's got the first down and more. And she's going to go. She is going to go in. She did look short. But it is a score for Kusinen to start off. So, looks like they're going to go for one here. A powerful run from Kusadan in that wildcat, that direct snap formation that they ran there. They're going to go for the, f the extra point attempt. It's a clean snap, clean hold, and Wayne Hill will once again have to climb over the fence. The ever-athletic Wayne Hill. Yeah, of course, of course he is. He, he looks it. That will be a score of 7-2-0 early on for these Wolverines and not the start the Lions will have wanted. That blocked snap, uh, that blocked punt rather, really going against them there. And the Wolverines capitalising very quick on, um, on that field position. Of course, we saw Ruth Mata get an early touchdown that was pulled back and they will be regretting that holding call right now. Special teams. People are easily easily forget it. Important third aspect of our game. Yeah, very much so. And the Wolverines proving what it can do for you. No doubt they'll be looking to get some scores on the board early. A fast start with those legs, perhaps tiring after a game already. And what a start! They couldn't have asked for a better start, really. So it looks like it will be Sapala. He will be kicking off here. Oh, uh, confusion on the field. I do apologise, actually. Maybe uh, missing maybe one. Yarn a kicking person off. on the front line. Not, uh, not the start the Lions will have wanted. No, it is Sapala that's going to put the boot through the ball. Better kick, a deep kick. Pai dropping the football that time. Not the clean catch she had before, but finding a Good seam team. is going to put us into a... Good starting field position around about the 30, 31 yard line for the Lions. See if Kilby can lead this offense. An experienced quarterback. Um, again, she's, uh, she's played for GB and she's the captain. She's been a long time captain of this team as well. Co-founder, I believe. Um, and a talented, talented player, smart player as well. It's remarkable to see what the Lions have done over a relatively short career going to Finland and winning tournament the, in their first ever outing as an 11 a side team yeah very very dominant again in that I formation and it's going to be a false start that looks like it's going to be called on number 34 Morgan it actually looks like they've called it on 74 of the offense that uh, was Maz Hughes unfortunately our refs Mike uh, having some technical difficulties there. We'll try and get it fixed, but if we can't, of course, we'll give you the calls from the booth. First and 15, and a motion by Morgan up to that tight end spot as Kilby looks to toss the ball to the short side of the field. Matter picking up four or five yards, and looks like we may have an injury on the far side of the field. Uh, we'll see. Could well be. And they are up. It's okay. We had a lot of injuries last night. Perhaps as he, uh, the surface was to blame. Perhaps the physicality of the game was to blame. Something to remember, though, the travel, especially New York, coming a long way. A long flight won't help your injury chances. No, no, it definitely won't. And the Finns, of course, flying and playing in the same day. And you have to give them credit. A lot of credit there. So we've not seen a pass yet from the Lions. It's been, what, five plays, one blocked punt, and a lot of negative yardage. We'll see if they go to the run or whether they uh, try for the pass here. 
And it is Kilby handing off once again to Mata, who finds a little seam and will pick up a couple of yards there. It's going to be a third and maybe eight, maybe seven, depending on how generous our scoreboard operator is feeling. What do you do in this situation, pass? I think you have to try and pass, but uh, they were in a similar situation on the previous drive and, and went for that speed option. Kilby having to take it on the run rather than uh, getting it out to her running back. Well wrapped up last time, well contained, well read by the Wolverines' defense. This time it looks like Kilby's going to come in that classic spread formation but she will be starting under centre, five offensive line. Obviously missing a key member. Motion across the field, perhaps a sweep is coming, and actually it was a sweep, but it looks like there's going to be a flag on Prob the play. Probably best there, looked like some compu confusion post-snap. And it was, uh. a, it was a timeout rather than a flag. So a Lions timeout. There was a substitution from one of the receivers. Uh, one receiver in, one receiver out. And as you rightly say, there was some confusion. Well, we've uh, got this timeout. Once again, we, uh, I would like to thank uh, Pro Cloud for sponsoring this tournament. And what a great tournament it's been so far. And of course, it is also about raising awareness for the Birmingham Children's Hospital, um, which you can find on the Just Giving website. Pro Cloud. If you type in Pro Cloud on that, on that website, it's not Enterprise today. It's not Enterprise at all. It's, uh, it's Mitch Guyer. So they're going to get another chance, a timeout coming in before the snap of the ball. And we'll see if they try that sweep, although no doubt Wolverines will be expecting it. Kilby lined up under centre and it looks like, well, it's a fake Play handoff, action. yeah. Rolling out to her left and she's not found anyone nearly and nearly, yeah, there. very nearly. And that was Yarn, um, a woman that had a fantastic game last night. Um, she broke up a number of passes and that really should have been a pick. Yeah, lucky it wasn't picked off there. Kilby's pass. Hopefully they can get the punt off, get good field position for their D. Yeah, and they really do need to. It'll be 83 for the Lions kicking off Hastings, just Hastings, uh, trying to get this punt away. Must be a nervy situation when your first punt of the game has been blocked and you have to come in. Yeah, it won't be. And a lot of pressure again, but gets this kick away cleanly. High kick, good distance on it, and it's going to be downed. It looks like it's going to be downed on about the Wolverines' 25-yard line. So better from the special teams unit that time. But again, the offense not really finding anything, Tom. Take time. We've seen that if Mata gets a break, she's gone. it's going for six every time if she gets into that second level. What I would do in the line situation is probably try and establish the passing game so that the Wolverines don't stack the box. So giving Mata more room to run and find pay dirt. Uh, very much so. We should stress on the... Uh, on the screen it did show Helsinki is 14 points up, it is only 7-0. Um, a little bit of a technical error there. So they will be looking to pass this time. Plenty of time, and well nearly a completion, but a pass breakup. Looks like 38 of the Lions there. And that looks like Wiki Joran. And uh, a good, good strong play by the defensive back just see it on that replay loads of time for the quarterback ball should have really been caught uh, and that was uh, Keongas there that didn't quite bring that in and unfortunately she dropped a, a, what should have been a touchdown pass late in the fourth quarter in last night's game and they look to run the ball this time and a nice seam up the middle and showing that powerful run Dominant blocking by the O-line there. Nice big hole for the running back. Yeah, defensive line are really going to have to step up. Of course, missing Phoebe Schechter in that linebacker core as well. The Lions are going to have to find a new defensive talisman for tonight to lead the team. Perhaps Laura Moore, an experienced linebacker, is the one to lead playing in that uh, 51 jersey. As big a loss Phoebe Schechter is going to the Bills, not a bad job there. <laughs> 
but I'm sure this Lions defense will cope without her. That I think yeah, they, they, they are. Out. They have got depth and they're a talented squad, and it's a pass looking for that bubble play, and it was a high ball, and actually the receiver well, nearly fumbled, but getting the first down. That really should have been stopped by the defense. Yeah. A low, well, a high, high floating ball. Uh, it should have had a player, defensive player, right on the receiver. Last night we saw a number of big hits coming from the Wolverines in those sort of situations from the Sharks uh, receivers, quarterback receivers, and really proving that the uh, the Helsinki Wolverines can hit with some ferocity. So the Wolverines will come out again with. Uh, Kosunin at that quarterback position. QB keeper. Showing that speed. Smart play yeah. as well. Showing that speed before going out of bounds. That's twice now the lines have bit on the zone option. A nice pickup around about four yards that time. The Lions are going to have to stop this running game fast. Otherwise, these Wolverines could be running all over them. We've got two receivers to the right, one to the far side of the field from us, and a running back in that backfield. And we'll no doubt perhaps see another run play. Or are they going to mix it up? And there it is going to be that run and a nice gap. Oh, three yards maybe on the play as she falls forward. Not quite the interior pickup that Kusunen had last night. Again, we uh, we stress we apologise if we get any of these names wrong it's on both sides of the team. We uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it always makes for an interesting game to to call a different nation's team. The teams have been brilliant though. They with the have they yeah, provided. The phonetics and everything. Whether we can read the phonetics is a different matter. Very different. Uh, but uh, we do apologise in advance. We thank the teams, of course, for providing these rosters as a flag is thrown. Likely to be a false start here. Possible false start on the quarterback, man. Line. Can't quite get a number, can't quite hear our official from there, but it will be going backwards. I think I it was the quarterback yeah. just moving forward towards the snap. Yeah, false start there for the Wolverines, going to put them in a third and eight situation. We saw them running this situation a number of times last night with uh, running back draws. They had that draw. It was very effective against a good New York defense. Now, the Lions, of course, having watched the game last night, will no doubt be expecting that, uh, that draw play, We're playing with two high safeties. And it is a pass looking to get it deep down the middle, and that is going into no woman's land. So good play, better play by the Lions' defense so far. Still, maybe going to punt. We have seen them go for it on fourth yeah. as well last night. So last night they were very aggressive, very very aggressive with the play calling. Yeah. Lots of going for it on fourth down. Say Parla this time in punt formation. Let's see if they can get their first punt of the game away. Not a lot of pressure coming from, and it's a clean kick. And Hannah Pye just saying, no, not for me, as it's downed on the 11-yard line by Helsinki's Caro. Smart play there, Colin Poy, you can get away from that ball. Don't want to risk a chance of a turnover in this far deep in your half. Yeah, it's going to put the offense in a, well, a good way to go, let's put it that way. As the Lions drop a towel on the field. It's all about those... Field fashions, field isn't it? Fashion. You field fashion. Field fashion. Not look something. Good, play good. Yeah, not something that I ever had. That's for sure. So we've not really seen any passing. We saw one pass early on from Kilby that went incomplete. Actually, nearly a pick by Yarn. We'll see if they run the ball here or pass with that triple receiver threat on the left-hand side of the field. No real safeties deep as Kilby. Looking to pitch that ball to Mata. Got a little bit of space. Trying to put on the burners, but getting wrapped up on around about the 15-yard line. So a decent pick up there. Four yards. And that's what you want for your running play. Tough, tough running back who loves contact, it seems. 
Yes, yeah, a much smaller frame as we've we've mentioned already, um, in comparison to both sharks and uh, and the wolverines, but will make contact when needed. Dangerous when she gets into space, and actually it was a great tackle by the Wolverines defensive back, and it looked like it was number 39 on the play, uh, Runtainen. Kilby under centre this time, two receivers to the right-hand side. Fake pitch as she hands off to Morgan up the middle, but that was wrapped up by three defensive players, three defensive line. Read that brilliantly and nowhere to go. Going to bring up a third and seven. So it will be a loss of one on that play. Again, Lions really not looking to that pass game early on. We know they can pass it. Some talented oh, they definitely receivers. can pass it. Uh, perhaps they're just trying to make some body blows early on with Mata and Morgan running the ball. Well, it's worth testing. The Wolverines defensive front have had a physical game last night. So it's worth trying to do it again, see if it works. Mata motioning into the backfield. It is a handoff to Mata. Oh, what a Big block. hit by what Morgan. What a block. But going for a huge tackle for a loss. Didn't matter what Morgan did. Mata had oh. nowhere to go. It's going to bring up a fourth and around about 13, maybe 12 if I'm being generous. You see there, Morgan's hit. Oof. Fantastic. But the offensive line as they came back, getting in Mata's way. And Sending nowhere to go. back to Finland. <laughs> yeah, very much knocking Ooh. them into next week. But the defense doing what they needed to do and a tackle for the loss. And uh, and that's what you want to see. It doesn't matter how big a hit you take. You keep fighting forward and make that team work. And it's a bad snap, low snap. And it's going to be a safety. And that is the second uh. mistake on a punt for the Lions. And that safety, not what they were looking for here. And mental errors all over the field. A block early on that was recovered by the Wolverines just outside the Lions. 20-yard line as the first quarter comes to a close. Of course, we're playing with 11-minute quarters. So it's going to be punted from the other end of the field as the players march down there. What do you think to that first quarter? Uh, the only thing I'm thinking about right now is that block. <laughs> Incredible block. Um, special teams errors. That has been the biggest issue so far. And if any team has turnovers, points given away on specials, they're not going to win a game. Yeah, as you rightly said, an important third of the game that's often forgotten about. Whilst these Lions, no doubt, have not forgotten about it. Mental errors early on have cost them. So they'll, uh, they'll kick off. Of course, the ball here is live on a safety kick. So it can be recovered by either team. We'll see if the special teams unit for the Lions can recuperate something back after the kick. It does amaze me that people forget about specials. Just to give field position, the opportunity to score. And a good high kick. Not a lot of distance, but it's bobbled. On the kick return, it's picked up on around about the 30-yard as they find a seam and a big seam and actually breaking one tackle, nearly breaking the second before Ooh. being brought down by 28 of the Lions, Nancy Stone. And it was number 10 um, of the Helsinki Wolverines that picked that ball up, Martola. So that Wolf. was close. You could tell that she was gleaming in her eyes. Yeah, very much so. Ooh. Being that last-ditch tackler must put some real nerves in you as a, a returner picks up full pace. The, the, uh, the Wolverines will start in good field position. Just on the 44-yard line, we're playing on a 90-yard field, so it's uh, where the 50-yard mark is. It's actually 45. It's going to be on that uh, 44 of the Lions as they look to pass. Already more passing than they did last night as it goes over Sapala's head. Um, the right read, certainly, by Kusinen. Tell you what, what a day the Birmingham Lions women have put on. Very much so, and you can take a look around, and we've got some burger vans behind us, uh, a Mr. Whippy ice cream van. Oh, of course, other ice creams are available, but uh, Mr. Whippy, everybody loves a nice, uh, nice ice cream. I had to be careful where I was going there, and we've got some... Nice crowd forming on the bank as well yeah. for this game. As it brings Lovely day for it. Very much so. And it's a second and ten after that incomplete pass 
as they run the ball this time. And a big seam there for Kusin. And, and picking up a decent chunk of yardage. Not quite picking up that first down as our down marker carrier has a little bit of a dance move on that far sideline. It's going to be a second of third, third and two. Third. It is a third down. He's confusing me on my scoreboard. He's dancing a little bit too much. Third and three for them here to try and pick up perhaps another run play offensive line doing a great job both in the running game and the passing game for these Wolverines so far and there is that read option as she finds a seam upfield is going to pick up the first that's for sure and more as she steps out of bounds there that read option again the Lions are going to have to learn how to snuff that out otherwise they Easy yardage for the Wolverines every single down. Yeah, and Kosen in there. The ball carrier, the quarterback making the option. And what an option it was as she breaks through the tackling arms of 54 of the Lions. Lisa Thomas. Going to be a first down on the 23-yard line. Very impressed by this Wolver the Wolverines line core, especially having a game last night. Looking fresh, looking strong, looking powerful. Yeah, really have done a great job recuperating and recovery is stressed by the head coach in an earlier interview was key and doing a great job. QB draw. Looking for the little scramble. Perhaps a big gonna, hit there yeah, by number 57. But picking up yardage nevertheless and that's what they'll need just punching, punching and punching trying to take something out of that defensive line. A nice little gap. Pick up around about two, maybe three yards if we're being generous. So Wolverines coming out here, second and seven. Let's see what they can do. Got that big running back in the backfield and two receivers to the right hand side. We've seen them pass a couple of times and there's going to be whistles all over. And we'll see what that call was. What are you thinking, George? Well, I'm not quite sure whether it was a flag or a timeout, if I'm honest. We've, we've got a... And no, it is. It was, was a flag. And it was a false start. So we're going to push them back to a second and 13 situation. Let's see what they can come up with here whether they hand it off or try to pass downfield. And it is a rollout to the right-hand side. We saw that a couple times last night. Good. And it looks Great. like it was a complete pass. Tell you what, the Wolverines love that flood concept. Last night they used it a lot, and it seemed to be working as yeah, well today. had a different quarterback in last night in Tiern, and Tiernan. And both, uh, both quarterbacks showing that they can throw on the run. Haven't quite managed to pick up a number from the receiver that time, but a great grab there. Third and five for the Wolverines to try and pick up. As you say, that uh, that flood concept, that rollout as well, quite a difficult move for a quarterback to, mm. to, to complete. Different set of mechanics when throwing. And they are looking to run the ball that time and looks like she's going to be dragged down short of the first, uh, first down marker there. Good stand there by the Lions, D. Yeah, making up for it that time it looked like Lisa Thomas was the woman on the tackle but didn't get a clear look at the number so it looks like these Wolverines may be going for it on fourth of course they are inside the Lions 20 so it doesn't matter what happens here it will put the Lions into top field position unless they get a turnover and manage to run some way upfield again more running based offense from what we've seen so far similar to last night's performance but we know they can pass when needed and that is Kusinen that's going to take the football whether she gets marked up short we're not sure and they have first given down. her the first it will have been by the nose of the football there and that's going to put them just outside the 10 on the 11 yard line So braving it there, a good pickup, five, five and a bit yards for Kusin and the big running back. Kusin and 
The quarterback there looking to drop back. Looking into the back oh. corner. Oh, close. In and out of the hands. I do apologise. It wasn't the back corner, but uh, a little slow from the receiver there. And a little slow by me to pick up. It's the, a tough uh, angle. It's, it's a, tough a angle. very tough angle, yeah. And, of course, we've got the camera as well. But um, clearly we're not oh, paying, paying Alex Wolverine enough. And injured Wolverine on the field. Yeah, we'll see what number that is. And if it was the intended target, she took a knock, actually, as, as she went down and was slow to get up. Uh, we will uh, we will see what comes of it. And she seems to be okay. Uh, looks like she's going to get up and make her way off the field under her own self-esteem. It's good seeing the Wolverines passing on first down, trying to keep the lines honest. Yep. After that incompletion, it's going to be a second and ten for them here. Of course, we'd like to thank uh, Football America for coming down today, the partner vendors. And uh, if you are in the Birmingham area, they are down here on site in the visitors' car, car park of Bournebrook uh, with their wares. And they are looking to pass and that roll out well to the again. right as well. And it looks like it's going to be a dropped pass and another incompletion going to bring up third and ten. So today's game brought to you by Midshire Technology for your office, supplying the latest range of sharp MFPs, audio-visual solutions, and, well, everything really to do with technology. And uh, we thank them for, for sponsoring today's game, www.midshire.co.uk. You can find them there. And it's going to be a third and ten on the Lions 11, Wolverines Perhaps going to look to pass, maybe. Then 10, you got it now. Kusinen. QB draw. Yeah, we saw that draw a number of times to the halfback. Not going to get anywhere and wrapped up well that time by the Lions defence. Maybe calling for a fumble, but it wasn't. Uh, 37, the tackling line, the linebacker come defensive back. Kaylee Parnell tracking sideline to sideline to make the hit. Fourth and ten, not picking anything up there. See what they opt to do here. Interesting to note that it's not just Phoebe Schechter missing today from that D. Lucy Kirk and Alice Smith, both GB linebackers, are missing today. Yeah, some big losses all round. Asapala looks to go for a field goal attempt here. The Lions have strength and depth, though, they'll be fine. Clean hold, Sapala kicking. Good. And as you say, it is called good, so that will be three more points for the Wolverines, who will be happy, no doubt, with their start so far, both on offense and on defense. And of course, our special teams unit has put so many points on the board already. You can get in touch with us today here at Onside Productions. Hashtag Burr vs Hell if you're on Twitter. B I R V S H E L, that is Hell with one L not the place where the devil lives although the devil may be working against the Lions special teams unit today fair play on that one fair enough better than Sharknado <laughs> Sharknado what a awful film well <laughs> <laughs> no if, if you have if you have watched it and, and fair play it's it, it is I think classed as a B movie but, uh, right back to football, <laughs> back to football. <laughs> thank you special teams special teams <laughs> Sapala here looking to kick off three points to her name after that field goal attempt. Nice kick downfield. Hannah Pye taking it cleanly that time. Seen perhaps up the middle as Mata makes the lead block, but wrapped up by the Wolverines. A pile forming, and it is blown. And it looks like they're going to mark her actually. Well, we'll see where they mark her because the pile formed. Around the 45. Yeah. Oh, the, the 40. The pile formed around about the 37 yard, but it depends where they felt she went down. For someone who's usually smaller than the competition, Ruth Matter has some feistiness about her laying out a mean lean blo lead block there. Yeah, very much like a terrier nipping at the heels, whether she's running with that football or trying to make a block as well. We already, we've already seen Morgan show her dominance in the, uh, in the blocking aspect of the game as she dropped one of the Wolverines' defensive line. So the Lions this time 
not really having done much on the offense, bar a trips right. Let's Maybe Matt have get a motion across now. Kilby, this time looking to pass, and she has a receiver open, but it's a little bit behind, and it won't be complete. Uh, she looks for Kim Seeger. And that will be a disappointing 0-2 for Kilby. Two pass attempts to no completions. So we're going to bring up a second and ten here. Really got to get something going. And running game, we've seen a big breakaway play, but nothing else other than that. What would, you, what well, would you be doing here, Tom? We've got time. No need to force anything. S see if the ground game's going to pick up. You got the you've got the running back stable to do it. Oh, incomplete again by Kilby. Yeah, not what she'll be looking for, and that's gonna be a third and ten for Kilby. And of course there are two scores behind at this point, and the clock will be ticking vigorously through this second quarter. We need to get a score on the board really. Yeah, they'll be their experienced stuff, their coaching staff very ex excellent as well. They won't be panicking now. They understand they don't have to force anything. The game is still theirs to be won. And there's going to be a whistle on the plate. Let's see what that was. Time it out. is a timeout. That'll sink it. So again, whilst we have this break, we would like to thank Midshire for sponsoring today's game technology for your office you can find them either at the midshire business systems limited on dawned away west bromwich b 714 lt you can contact carl may telephone number 07841199650 or find them on their website www.midshire.co.uk you can see those contact details on the screen and they come out here, third and ten after two passing attempts and no completions for the Lions. Spread with Matter in the backfield now. Could go back to the speed option they did earlier on, but down the distance you assume they'd go to the air. Yeah, you'd like to think so. Two receivers to the left, two to the right, and Kilby looking deep here. And Matter. Oh, Matter hit hard. That time by number 11, that would be Yarn of the Wolverines and well picked up by those that defense. Going to be a short pickup, a fourth and, well, three yards maybe. Nice to see the Lions have a slip screen in, the, in their locker. Good to get Matt to the outside of the field, get the nice big alley for her to run up. But you'd expect soon that they'd be distributing the ball to people other than that number 10. Yeah, looking to punt the ball away. Getting it away cleanly that time after the earlier block. It's going to bounce out of bounds around about the 30-yard mark. As you say, perhaps uh, the Wolverines spotting matter is a real threat by the Lions. And shutting her down everywhere she goes, there is somebody on her. And that's good defense all round. Wolverines will look to get another score on the board. We have one offensive score that was created really through the punt block by their special teams unit. The safety, of course, not something that you often see in football. A, uh, an odd score, but a score yeah. nonetheless, and a field goal as well, which actually, oddly, in the British game isn't something you see very often no. either. Um, the elusive field goal, PAT. Yeah, but Zapala, the point scorer on that play. The Wolverines lining up with that two receivers set on the right, two receivers on the left, and it is that hand to Kusin and that big powerful back Lots as she space. gets outside and having to be ridden like a bull as she goes down. And a nice tackle to eventually bring her down. And it's gonna be gonna be a first down. And a first and ten here for the Wolverines. And that's exactly what their running game wanted. C 
coming out again in that spread offense. Two receivers left, two receivers right. Nikusin in this time set on the left-hand side of the quarterback on the short side of the field. And it is another handoff to her as she tries to find a way inside. Flag on the field, but she has pushed outside. It's going to be a nice pickup. Flags all around in that vicinity of holding. And this is likely to be brought back. Assume holding. Seeing the position the flags were thrown. Yeah, and the Wolverines being marched backwards now. Not what they'd have wanted after that big play, but nevertheless, it will put them into a first and 15 yard. Oh, they do first apologize. It's going to be first and 20, isn't it? It was my maths fails me there. know they can pass the ball and in this deep situation perhaps they'll look to this but Kusinen really doing a great job on the previous two plays to try and pick up some yards it does look like they're going to try and pass here stepping back and it's a oh, one-handed pick. pick and the what Lions looking pick. to get up field going to get some yards back and it was 28 of the Lions Nancy Stone. yeah what a grab one-handed grab by Stone and uh, you couldn't ask for a better momentum was change that than that. One-handed as well. It was. It did look oh. one-handed. Certainly finished in one hand. And you just see it there. A great read by Nancy Stone. And what a baller. That, yeah, very much. And if that uh, momentum swings for the Lions, it puts them 25 yards out from the end zone. Don't in, think I'll make a joke about DBs not being able to catch. Not, in this game. Uh, not if they can catch with one hand like that. Doing those DBs proud worldwide. Great job. Let's see what the Lions can muster. And it's a pitch to Matter on that short side. Nowhere to go. Just being pushed forward. A nice lead block, actually, by uh, looked like Laura Moore, number 51. They planted her opposition into the ground, but nowhere for Matter to go. Always difficult throwing a pitch um, to the short side of the field. Uh, you've already got less space for your uh, running back to try and get upfield. At the same time, though, it forces the running back to go upfield a bit earlier. Yeah, got to find a seam. We know she can run with a little bit of finesse. She's got a seam. She's gone. So it's going to be a second and eight. They're going to give her two yards that time. And Kilby under centre with Morgan in the backfield as well. It's going to be a pass for Kilby and nearly picked Ooh. off, nearly going back the other way. And it was number 85 of the Wolverines that got hands on Ruiz Selena. Very nearly going back the other way. Third and eight for the Lions here. Kilby's going to have to find something. They certainly won't want to be going for a field goal in this situation. It's not far out. It's certainly possible to kick this distance, but with them already two scores behind, they'll want to get a touchdown, no doubt. Yeah, definitely if they can get a score now, will make for a very interesting second half. Kilby looking to pass pressure on, and it Ooh, was just Rachel short. Trim's hands there. Yeah, just short. Pressure came on Kilby just as she was releasing that football. Didn't see a lot of pressure coming from either defense last night. Um... So I put that down to the very, very good standard of O-line play yesterday. Yeah, very much so. And just see their backside as she releases, hand gets. Of course, the Lions missing a number of key players um, on that offensive line. As head coach mentioned before the game, car accident, not, uh, not a nice situation, but uh, um, should I say run over I think of the words that he put but either way not nice as Kilby looks to pass deep looking for Mata who's Ooh, blocked off and it is going to be a late there. flag likely pass interference um, whilst it may give Ooh. the Lions a first down it's not going to be how they wanted to pick up a first down but a first down will be a first down and that'll be first and goal Mata really pancaked by two defensive backs there And 
it is a pass interference. So. It's going to bring up first down. They're going to spot the ball. And shouts of no, no come from the Wolverines. And perhaps a little unlucky, but Mata clearly got pancaked between sandwich between two players. It's going to be spotted on the seven-yard line. Unlucky position for the Wolverines defensive back to be caught in, but yeah, DPI is DPI. Miscommunication from the defensive backs, perhaps, or both just overly aggressive. Either way, it was uh, a no catch and pass interference, not what they'll have wanted from a defensive perspective, as Kilby lines up under centre in a tight formation, almost a wing formation there. But Mata looking to pitch with Morgan Lee block. She's got a seam. It's going to be a short pickup. Maybe give her three yards there. They're clearly looking to the running game as they get closer to the end zone. It's going to be marked just short of the four-yard line there by Mata. Remarkable pad level as well. I know a height would help. In that uh, tight formation again, another timeout called. And it looks like it's the Wolverines. Well, it looks like it may be the Lions that's called it that time. So the Lions, uh, the Wolverines here getting the uh, the old chalkboard out. Well, it won't be a chalkboard nowadays, will it, of course? iPad. <laughs> no, actually, I think he's got a whiteboard. Oh, whiteboard. I think he's, he's much like me. He's uh, not one with the kids. Um but he has got the whiteboard out, so scheming something. Clearly, he spotted something that's going to get some pressure into the backfield as Kilby tries to G up those Lions. It's, uh, running out to the sideline now, called in by the coach. So, looks like they've got to play. These Lions will rarely play from behind, dominant in British football. So, it's a new challenge what this tournament brings up for them. Sure, it won't be too big for them. No, by no means out of this game, that's fair to say, but... Nevertheless, they are down as that big finish whiteboard goes back to the sideline. And they're going to line up in that tight formation. So looks like uh, Wolverine's coach has seen something as Kilby drops back to pass. It's a wobbly football. It's caught and it's going to be a touchdown. No flags on the play. A great, actually, there is a late flag on the play, so it's going to be called after it will be tacked on, no doubt, to the kickoff. And it looked like 81 was the receiver with the grab, uh, Seager. And we'll, uh, we'll just see what the official calls here. Kilby, it looked like it was a little bit of a wild football, but nevertheless caught in bounds by Seager. Having faith in your quarterback and the passing game to come through. Coming through, was that her first completion coming for a touchdown? So for those of you at home, that was a uh, unnecessary roughness call on the Wolverines' defence. That's going to be tacked on to the kickoff. Um, that was the second completion for Kilby. Um, Four-yard pickup for a touchdown. Naked boot, Kilby running in. Kilby in for two. And that will be what they need there. It's going to put them four points behind. They'll be very happy with that. Lovely naked bootleg right there. All the space in the world. Back to a one-score game now. You've got to assume the later into the game we go, advantage Birmingham. With the fatigue on Helsinki from last night? Yeah, last night's game no doubt will take an effect at some point. But the, uh, the Wolverines so far hosting their best. So, of course, those yards will be tacked on to the kick. And that will be marked forward another 15 yards. See what this special teams unit can do. And look to kick deep here. 
See if they can get it out of the back of the end zone and not allow either of these great returners to try and find a seam up field. We've already seen the damage that they can do. And it is a short kick, actually. I'm not quite sure she meant to do that. Ooh, it's bobble by one, through. bobble by two. And it is allowing a chance to get Good a Good tackle, field. number 16. As you say, wrapped up very well on the 20-yard line of the Wolverines as the cheerleaders start lining up their music ready for the halftime show next to us. That sounded really wrong. That sounded, that sounded that horrific. Sounded I apologize for anyone at home. Uh, we have wildfire cheer at half time today. They'll be doing a bit of a half time performance for us. Just sorting and the music uh, next to us in the They booth. are. They are. Thank you for clearing that up. Nothing it else. It sounded. That's that's probably for the best. <laughs> Specials again. Yeah, I'm not quite sure the kick was designed, but no. perhaps it was. It bobbled by two, and it's going to mark them on the 20 as Wolverines will look to march down this field here. That play action is a high oh. ball, but caught nevertheless. And it's wrapped up. It looked like 37. Kaylee Parnell. It looked like Kelpelinen was the recipient on that catch. And so far from what we've seen, uh, Tiernan and, uh, and Kusinen struggling a little bit throwing in the flats. They can roll out nicely and they can throw mm. downfield and when stood still can hit the seam, but... Well, those quick screens, yeah, that those, ball those can't be lofted in the air for long. Not quite sure whether they're quite getting a grip. They're playing with a youth football at uh, yeah, women's level. Yeah, for women's football, it, the ball's smaller. Yep. Um, but nevertheless, you know, I've got small hands and, and I know what it's like to try and get uh, hands around the football quickly. That's why I was an awful defensive back, because I couldn't catch as it's handed off up the middle and wrapped up well by the Lions, who came roaring in. I feel Law there coming straight up down the A-gap. Whistles on that play. And that is the two-minute warning, and you will join us after this. We are the official UK distributors and retailers for Fidel, Rawlings, Wilson Footballs, Nike and Under Armour. This gives us the largest range of products in the UK. We also offer team merchandise. We can supply a full range of clothing, all printed and embroidered in-house. Please feel free to visit our showroom at 8 Hill Lane Industrial Estate, Markfield, Leicester, LE 67, 9pm. Welcome back. You've just missed uh, the Wolverines pick up a first down on the player direct snap to Kusinen, a play that we'd seen already so far tonight. They like that wildcat look, don't yeah, they? Very much. I do apologise. We were expecting slightly longer at the two-minute warning, but these teams raring to go and get back to it. First down for these Wolverines. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. And that big running back in the backfield. Clock is ticking after the run. And they're looking to pass. And she's got Chapala down the seam, but short of the mark. Good pressure there from the Lions. Chapala caught a number of footballs last night in that uh, sliding position, I think. That, mm. that kneeling catch, uh, low footballs coming in. But eyes were great. Eyes locked onto the football. But nothing there. Second and ten. What catches the football first? Eyes. Then fingertips. But it didn't really work either way for me because I can't catch the football. Stop trying to set me up for a defensive back, Joe, <laughs> after that one-handed pick. <laughs> it, it was a great one-handed pick as well. This pressure comes through the middle, not quite getting Kusin, and she's got a big seam and eventually brought down. But having to wrap up or be wrapped up by two players, really building up steam and... The size of that running back is like having a fullback running at you with Usain Bolt speed. And you see it there breaking that first tackle, heading up, and one, two, it's having to take her down. But actually, it looked, uh, it looked like 28 was the one that uh, manages to Drop bring it down. There on the out. Yeah. 
and uh, not quite keeping up momentum. We saw last night uh, the Wolverines no huddle look, and that caused New York a lot of problems. Yeah, we'll see if they can keep uh, keep the speed marching downfield. He picked up a big chunk play, and not two plays ago. As Jay Alexander blocks our view in the commentary tent, he should get back big to Jay calling Alexander. and sit down on that seat so I can see I'm not overly tall. But, uh, genetics, as Joe Walker would say, as they drops back that halfback. Draw is going nowhere. Lions defensive line going straight through, and Kusin and slow to get up. Looked like 76 was the tackle of that. And that was Mina Fombo. I think a special thanks needs to go out to people like Jay as well, who've been helping out this whole tournament weekend. People volunteering their time up for this program. Yeah, very much so, and, and big thanks to Joe Kilby, who's mm -hmm. really led the way in organising this event. For a very good cause as well. George Lee's just absent for a second, collecting his papers. Windy day down here, down at Bournebrook. You make me sound like I'm a paper boy there. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm working three <laughs> jobs, but uh, paper boy isn't one of them. <laughs> Third and long for these Wolverines. And it looks like they're going to pass rolling Line out again to so that right, that flood concept, and it's dropped. Ooh. Another low pass, hitting the target, no doubt, mm. but, uh, but a low pass and Bring not picked up. It looked like Sapala was the intended receiver, but didn't quite pick up a number there. It seems like both quarterback in this, quarterbacks in this game enjoy playing it from outside the pocket rather than being in from inside that in tackle box. Yeah, some big um, defensive tackles for these Lions. Um, really trying to find a way through and um, put some pressure on. They're going to punt here. It's a fourth down situation. So uh, well, fourth and eleven, fourth and twelve, fourth and eleven as our scoreboard puts it. As Sapala looks to punt away, special teams throughout this game has been really key for both sides of the ball. It's a clean getaway, and it's not caught cleanly, but it looks like Hannah Pye ooh, takes big a big block. hit, and that looks like eleven Yarn, who's been putting in these big hits all game, and uh, and not. Uh, not a clean catch by any means. That could have gone horribly wrong late in the second quarter. All three teams in this tournament love a bit of contact. They're not ones to shy away from it. Yeah, just saw there uh, Hannah Pye taking it really Big off the shoulder. Block. and Yarn coming in, laying down the boom. You are mine. You are not walking upfield. Lions here, not long left. We are well within the two minute warning. Kilby looking to pass here. Got a receiver deep on a post, Ooh, and it's picked hit. off by the Wolverines who will look to get upfield, but not going anywhere. And, and it was 41 of the Wolverines uh, picking off that ball. Cairo. Just see it there again. Nothing, nowhere to go. Went straight to the middle linebacker there. Unfortunate. <laughs> Let's see if the Wolverines can capitalize on that mistake and go get a score, extend their lead to a two-score two lead going into the second half. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll look to get something. It's been a close game. And actually, to be fair... Um, no. We'll see what that is. It's a timeout. Yeah. Looks like a Lions timeout there as they signal. It's been a close uh, close game so far, and last night's, uh, despite the scoreline, I know it was a 13-point adrift, 27-14. Oh, but Actually, it was close, last though. night, was, it was close. Very um, close. Bearing in mind one of those scores was a pick six in a similar sort of time Picks. frame. Well, pick yeah. six, the Wolverines in the last quarter got to fourth and goal. Mm, very much. We'll see what uh, Kilby in the offense can draw up here to try and get this ball moving. So far, whilst they've got an offensive score, they did start from just inside the 20-yard line and not really managing to muster anything. 
Credit where credit's due, though. It's difficult for a quarterback to come... She's played so many different formats of the game, and the whole team combined has 2.5 hours of 11-a-side experience. So you got different reads, more men on the field. Women. More women on the field. That's... Uh you are you are correct. There are there are obviously two more. Um, in fact, I think would I be right in saying we, we have a five five woman concept and a and a seven woman concept. There is now an eleven aside version of the game in Britain as well, but that's only started this year. Wolverines quarterback looking to step oh. back. I do apologise, of course, it was a turnover, and it looks like Zapala may get in, and it is a score. No flags on the play. Zapala. The score for the Wolverines, another six points to her name after already getting a field goal early on. You love that as a quarterback, nice, simple pass in the shallow. Receiver does all the work for you, just run upfield. Just how it was drawn up. And that is what you want to do, short pass, make nice. your receiver do the work. Boy comes across, drop back, goes past the tackle. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And actually, it looked like there was a flag on the play, and it's uh, it's actually not going to stand. Uh, again, we do apologise. We're in a, a bit of an awkward spot on the field here today. So that ball is actually going to come back. Um, so they're going to mark them. They are going to give them a, a pick-up. Uh, it's going to be first and... and goal. No, I think... We're going to mark them on around about the eight-yard line from our spot, yeah. uh, but it is not a touchdown. So it looks like they've perhaps been marked down on the one-yard line. Something happened as they look to pass again. Oh, Kiwi scramble. scramble. She's got space, but uh, looking for the rollout, oh. and it is incomplete. And the Wolverines can't manage to get that score back on the board there. Tell you what, if the Lions can keep them to a field goal, ideally no score, but you've got to take that as a success. Keeping it a one score game in the difficult field position. Second and goal here. The score currently stands at 12 to 8. Perhaps the Wolverines will look to run the ball. Kusinen and Kosinen in the backfield, as long as we're pronouncing those names right, again we do apologise flood as again, they look that, that roll out as you say, and looking into the end zone it's caught, and that time it is a touchdown, Sapala getting the points back on the board that she just has taken off, those Wolverines love that concept, now I should wait here because you, you had a better view than I did you stepped out of the booth for a second no flags on the play? no flags on the play, no flags on the play score will stand so, six points for the offence and redemption Good. for Sepala. The Wolverines taking advantage and capitalising on those Lions mistakes. Score coming from a pump block, a safety, and, and now Sepala, it looks like another point to her name as she kicks through the posts. Still a one score game. Do you know who gets the ball at the so after the now, start of the second half? Wolverines so kicked off. Wolverines getting the ball at the start of the second half as well. Possibility to make it a two-score game. Wolverines kicked off. If memory serves, my memory is not that good. I forgot <laughs> to have my porridge this morning. Bacon. Bacon was all right, though. And then I had a, a nice burger from the burger vans behind us. And You're hungry, George. Mr. Whippy is calling... But uh, being a, a, a bloke and knowing you, um, I thought you might treat all of our crew to a half-time ice cream. A student does not have that budget, I'm afraid. You're not a real student, though, are you? <laughs> You've got to be learning something to be a student. And it looks like Zapala's going to try and kick this one deep. No, it's going to be a stutter kick as Mata does well to read the bubble of the ball, the bounce of the ball, and finds a seam as Yarn flies in with a Superman tackle, or a Superwoman tackle, and takes her down by the scruff of the neck. Bringing up a second. And it looks like 
the officials may be calling that as half time as that ball goes in the air so the score at half time the Helsinki Wolverines 19 the hometown Birmingham Lions 8 give us your views on that first half the reason the Wolverines are ahead they're capitalizing on the Lions mistakes it's as simple as that if the Lions eradicate the mistakes the Wolverines will begin to struggle more the Lions can score, and the Lions are definitely still in this game. Yeah, they're only uh, 11 points down, two scores down, and they've shown that their offense can get moving. They did a much better job late in that second quarter. You will join us of this uh, second game of the inaugural Pro Cloud Transatlantic Trophy very, very shortly. Over half time, we've got the wonderful wildfire cheer. Um, I'm going to be putting on a performance for the crowd here. You'll see that on your camera, no doubt. Join us after the halftime break. We look forward to having you then. We are the official UK distributors and retailers for Riddell, Rawlings, Wilson Footballs, Nike and Under Armour. This gives us the largest range of products in the UK. We also offer team merchandise. We can supply a full range of clothing, all printed and embroidered in-house. Please feel free to visit our showroom at 8 Hill Lane Industrial Estate, Markfield, Leicester, LE 67, 9 p.m.
So welcome back after that half time break. Hope you enjoyed the short stint by uh, Wildfire Cheer. Uh, young Cheer Squad got a chance to talk to her uh, their coach, should I say, over half time. She's really impressed with what they're doing. I sure wouldn't like to be up there, would you? No, God, no. I imagine you'd be what they call a base. Yeah, I assume so. I, I don't think being off the ground for me, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think you could do those. those no, uh, well, cheer cheerleaders are athletes. People, they really are. People forget um, this. I, I actually have got my cousin's wife out in Canada was a college cheerleader. Every time we say cheerleading is not a sport, she tears as a new one. Oh, um, I wouldn't she say actually, that. She actually, she was um, one of the stunt women on the team and Actually, I think she slipped a disc or something quite nasty. Well, I've cheerleader, it's an injury, high-risk injury sport. Yeah. They work hard for it and deserve all the credit it they get. It really is. So you join us here at about uh, the start of the second half, and uh, 19-8 as these Lions kick off back to the Wolverines. A uh, bobble kick, a short kick, and it's just dived on there. Yeah, I think, the, I think uh, that kick's by design now. Yeah, trying to stop those athletic... Uh, Women trying to return that ball. We've had a couple tweets, uh, tweets, tweets, tweets in throughout the day. Um, uh, Michael Burmy, um, following fanatically by the sounds of it, Birmingham Lions women number 12, Joe Keelby to 81, Kim Sager with that fantastic catch, two point conversion run by Kilby Good. Um, he's just uh, tweeting about the earlier Lions touchdown. Of course, smashing run by number 26, Nancy Stone again from Michael. Gridiron Beauties following this tournament, no doubt, uh, at Wolverines uh, American Football, showing a good run game, but poor red zone execution. And that was earlier on as they run the early on. And you big jet sweep, as you say, breaking another tackle. And the eventually, there with the tackle. Yeah, eventually ground down to, that, uh, to the surface there. Big run by number 37, Keeper Lion of the Helsinki Wolverines. Matt Walker watching at home, my uh, lead commentator from last night. Great to watch my onside brothers providing another quality broadcast today. Missing being with you and George, you're right, your hands were awful. But keep <laughs> trying with those uh, keep trying with those cheerleaders. Hashtag never give up. Thanks, Matt. Um, uh, app appreciate the kind words as they try that jet sweep, but it is handed it. off this time to Kusinen. And another big pick up this running game, really moving forward for the Wolverines here. The legs keep churning there, just driving that pigskin forward. Of course, you can get involved with us today on Twitter using the hashtag Burr vs Hell, B I R V S H E L, that is hell without an L. And right. without two L's, without, without two, two L's. L's. See if this Wolverine squad can keep marching downfield, running galore so far. Another sweep, this time going to the sweeping motion receiver. As Keeper Linen, flag on the play, falls short, stumbles short of the end zone. Kelp Linen spotted on the one, but flag in the vicinity of holding. We'll see what they call here. And that is a holding, holding call. It's going to mark them back 10 yards. Lions really got to step up on defense some. Yeah, um, that, that offensive line for Helsinki just bullying the Lions there. Just leaving a tr the running back, just leaving a trail of them. And the running back, as you say, leaving a, uh, a trail of Lions behind them. A wake of Lions, should I say. Mm. See if the Lions can find some pride and get this defense going. Got to stop this run. Was that a pun there? Not intentionally. As they sweep across the field again, this time handed to Kusinen. And it's another nice pickup on the running game. Not quite going to get the penalty yards back, but five yards nevertheless. That lady again, Athea Law, with the tackle number 53 for the Lions. She's uh, a name we've called a number of times as Henley, my co-commentator, gets water all down the front of his T-shirt in awe of this running game. This time, 
Still in that same formation, two left, two right. Receivers, pressure coming from the Lions line. Two going through the middle as the quarterback takes it to the edge. She's found a space and she is in for the score. No flags on the play. And that is a score, a running score by Kosinen, the quarterback that time. Another six points and this running game really poised and ready to strike over and over again. Seems like this quarterback for the Wolverines adds another aspect to the game in terms of using her legs as a threat yeah. compared to last night where it was all very much aerial attack based. Very much so. Tiernan did a good job uh, last night. Two picks to one, one touchdown but uh, a little unfortunate with the second pick. Um, but the running game with this uh, extra addition of a running quarterback really working well for these Wolverines. I believe that was the first score where it wasn't capitalising on a Lions mistake. Yeah, I think you're right. That was first drive of the half for the Wolverines and straight in. That will be exactly what they wanted and 26-8 at the moment. Still, I think it's fair to say, well, three, three scores down, it's, it's a fairly close game. If Lions can get something back here, they'll be very happy. Oh, absolutely. Long time left in this game now. If the offense can go out, execute, not make any mistakes, Lions are definitely still in this one. And um, well, these teams line up for the special teams play. This kickoff, we'd like to thank ProCloud uh, for sponsoring this tournament. The uh, ProCloud Transatlantic Trophy, as it's known, hopefully the first of many. And it is. A nice take this time by Hannah Pye as she gets a nice little gap up the field following her lead blocker. And it's going to be Hannah spotted on the 36-yard line for the Lions. As we were saying, ProCloud and team sponsors throughout this tournament based in Litchfield, Staffordshire. Team is formally sponsored by ProCloud, which is actually a product um, manages the automation of business requirements it's a uh, it's a creative software product solution, and uh, and we're very pleased that they could sponsor us today. We'll sponsor the team, should I say? As Kilby brings her offense out here, handing off to Matter up the middle, and nowhere to go, wrapped up quickly by the Wolverines. Going to be a second down. Maybe picked up a few inches, but nothing more. Ruth Matter, as you've said, Tom, a key key member of this team. What do you do when you can't get that uh, that key member going? You've got to look elsewhere. You've got to try and get the ball into other players' hands. Maybe try and use the field to your advantage. Maybe try and run to the outside rather than go up the middle of that potent Wolverine's defensive front. But the Lions have to figure out something to get this ball moving. Yeah, they've struggled a little bit on offense. They got an earlier score, but it looks like Matter's going to uh, line up in that slot as Kilby looks to Matter on a little bubble. And she's got her in space. They're trying to scheme her open and breaking one tackle before going down. It's like we said, we just need to find another way to get the ball into either our key playmaker's hand or into other members of the team, whether that's a different formation misdirection, different concepts. Got to find something else to work. And almost on cue, as you said, that the scheme matter open for a pickup of five yards on the bubble. Third and five as they line up in trips right. Kilby under centre. And one isolated receiver to the left. And Kilby stepping back, looking for matter oh. fumbles the ball. I'm not quite sure whether they're going to give that as a fumble or whether they're going to give it as an incomplete pass. But incomplete pass it, there. Yeah, it's, it does go forward, so Kilby getting away with one there. I think what we were looking at was probably a fake screen to matter there and then just a deep route over the top. It certainly looked like she was going for matter, but the Wolverines were straight on, spotted that and, uh, and shut it down. Fourth and five here for the Lions. It's uh, not a traditional formation to see trips right and one isolated uh, receiver to the left and then have your quarterback play under centre. Mm, it's interesting. Um, it is interesting, but 
maybe there's an issue with the shotgun snap. Perhaps. And a clean getaway after the earlier punt block. Not picked up by the returner, and it's going to be downed at the far end of the field. As we mentioned earlier, of course, the Lions have struggled with injury. Uh, we mentioned Phoebe Schechter, but also Michelle Quinn, um, a key offensive line um, woman. And, and I think it's fair to say they may be missing her today. Unfortunately, she was involved with a, uh, well, we were told, run over, but um, I think she is on the mend. Wish her all the best. Yeah, of course, of course we do. As we wait for these Wolverines to come out on offence, of course, this weekend's not just about football. It is also about uh, the Birmingham Children's Hospital, raising some awareness and raising some money. And you can find the link on the Just Giving website, www.justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash pro cloud trophy. And if you are willing to raise any money or give them any money, I'm sure it would be more than appreciated. A very, very good cause. And that is a nice pickup that time. Second and nine for the Wolverines here. And again, Kusinen just really dominating in the running game and the offensive line clearing holes that you could really drive a bus through. Despite the heavy running, the Lions still opting to play with two deeper safeties and really trying getting around the edge there and getting that first down. I got lost for words there. I was uh, a little bit confused. I got caught out by the uh, the fake handoff. Yeah, that zone read again. We said earlier in the first half, if the Lions don't snuff that out, it's going to cause trouble later down the line. Yeah, Kosen and doing some real damage with the legs. I would think at some point you've got to think about bringing one of those safeties into the box, trying to uh, get some real pressure on the running game, stuff it. I, I understand why playing too too high, just give both halves of the field as much respect as possible, and if you bring it in the box, more room for the Wolverines to exploit. And that motion coming across the field again, and it's fumbled, and what it looks happened? like the Lions have recovered the ball. What a tackle. Yeah, nice clean hit. It was Capelline and the runner that time. We'll see if we can pick that up on the replay. Um, who the tackler was, Capelline, taking a nice gap, actually. And it, oh, and that uh, is that lady, number 28. Nancy Stone. We've called her earlier on with that uh, interception. Now a forced fumble and fumble recovery. Oh, what a game from a defensive back. He sounds like you're getting some re giving some respect to them. Um, well game. Forced fumble, one-handed pick. Not a bad day at the office, that. Impressive day from Nancy Stone so far, showing what defensive backs can do. Kilby lining up under centre in a split-back formation as she hands off to Morgan. Morgan trying to thunder her way through, but three Wolverines were there to meet her. Lions really have to capitalise on that mistake now. Wolverines did it to them in the first half. Lions have to do it in the second half. If they have any chance of winning this game. You've got to match them here, as you rightly say, Tom. Kilby coming out, second and eight for the Lions. It is very unusual to see how much the Lions favour being under centre. Like you say, it's not the traditional way anymore, but uh, it does work. It's still used in the pros, still used in some colleges and effective when you get it right. And Kilby, that pitch play to Matter as Morgan knocks the first defender through down to the ground. But not going anywhere. The sideline to sideline speed of this defense is uh, doing wonders and shutting Matter down and if, if she can't get that space to operate, the most talented running backs in the world aren't going to get anything going. Third and six here. Yeah, another good block by Ant Morgan, though. Yeah, doing herself proud there at fullback. And in this third down situation, they've got Mata in that slot formation. Trips right and one isolated receiver left. Kilby again looking for Mata on the bubble. Yarn coming in, and she's going to wrap her up. 
And Mata may be pushing forward to the line. Well, no, it's going to be a tackle for a loss, that's for sure. But Jan flying in, read that very, very well. Mata left with nowhere to go. This Wolverines defense know where that football is going, and that's where they're going to follow. Of course, as always, we'd like to uh, thank our advertisers. Uh, our partner vendor, Football America, today will be on site, or are on site, and Joe Walker very kindly helped us out with pre-game earlier on, so thanks to him. And it looks like they're going to punt this ball away. And, of course, thank you to Midshire Business Systems. And a Ooh. nice punt for them there. And it's not going to be returned, and it's going to be down deep in the Wolverine zone. What a punt. Close to being blocked, though. Very close. Yeah, got to work on that punt protection, perhaps. I may be mistaken, but I think in the women's game, domestic women's game here in Britain, we don't play specials in the formats because of the lack of 11 aside. Yeah, that's something we can certainly check on moving forward. That, uh, as you say, the specials is really key. Perhaps the uh, the Sharks and the Wolverines more versed. It's certainly something to work on if these Lions continue to play this 11-man game. Of course, you can get involved with the show. Hashtag Burr vs. Hell, B-R-R-V-S-H-E-L. Please get in touch. We'd love to read some of your tweets out as the Wolverines look to run the ball with Kusinen up the middle, but well taken down this time by that Lions defensive front. Second and maybe nine, a pick up there of one. I feel like that punt has just highlighted the importance of specials. You see the Wolverines now backed up and under, underneath their own posts. Will make the life a lot easier for the Lions defense. Yeah, never want to be starting in the shadow of your own goal line, but here they are as they motion across and there is a whistle on that play. We'll see what that uh, whistle was for. False start, I believe. They're not in the greatest position to see right now in the end zone, but as you say, they will be marched back on that play. Even closer to the shadow of their own goalposts. And Neely Tienen tweeting in, go Wolverines, go. As they look to drop back and pass, it is complete to Sipala. She was in a similar situation last night when she got up the sideline. She's going to get pushed out for a first down. Nice pick up by her. Uh, Phoebe Olivia also tweeting in through today. But, uh, let's go Lions from her. So we've got a few from both teams tweeting in. Great game so far. Come on, says Ruth Meg, thank you for your tweets. First down for the Wolverines as they look to march forward and put more points on the board, starting at the shadow of their own goal line. Kusinen looking to pass, and it is a pass to Parlet. Picked high, a wonderful grab. Going to be marked short, I think, of the first down. Around about, oh, no, it does look like they are going to give them the first down. Again, perhaps by the nose of the football. And Pia Kosinen doing a great job so far. The sun just starting to, not set, I think we've got a few hours till it sets, but just starting to get a little bit low and into the faces of these players on the field. Temperature's certainly dropped as they motion across the field. That sweet play that they ran earlier and well wrapped up by the Lions linebacker. Looks like a fear law was the tackler there. And Cape Linen was the motioning runner. A second and four for the Wolverines. They've shown a mixture of passing and running on this uh, this drive so far. A 
drive before was very much all about the running game. Looking to pass again to Parler, wide open on that little hitch play as she's brought down. And a big hit, actually, as she uh, bent in all sorts of directions. Mm -hmm. Not sure she's very happy with that, but it was Law that came in and put her down to the, put her down to the turf. Just tell us you're a big fan of these uh, little hitch plays and making the receiver do the work. What are you looking for? Well, it's nice to sing off coverage. Lots of space, nice cushion, in and out of the quarterback's hands, fast to the receiver, four or five yards every time. Just finding that hole, that soft spot in the zone. First down here after that nice little pickup by Sapala. And motioning across this time, different runner, another sweep, big space outside, but can she take it upfield? Law comes across, but it's going to be a nice 12 yard pickup. And that was number 16 of the Wolverines, Kayongas, with the, uh, with the run there. It looks like that is the end of the third quarter, quick third quarter if it was. Mm. Lots of running though, lots of running. Seems to be a little confusion between the teams as to whether it's uh, end of quarter or end of game um, as he blew the whistle three times, but uh, it is the end of quarter. The referees are allowed to make mistakes too. Yeah, we're all human. We are all human. An interesting third quarter. Points only on the board from the Wolverines. What do you make of that uh, that third time? Uh, Wolverines just building that cushion. Yes. Shame the Lions couldn't capitalise on that uh, fumble recovery by number 28. The running game starting to take effect more prominently in this third quarter of the Wolverines. Those body blows that they tried to make earlier on have really come into fruition. Well, now the, the issue the Lions have is the clock is against them too. So the running game, they like to give the ball to Matter doesn't necessarily help you if you're not making big plays often. I'd just like to thank the officials, as we mentioned, them, led today by head referee Ian Wainwright. And thank you to all of these guys for stepping up and being involved in this tournament this weekend as they line up for a first down. And that sweep again by Kusengas. And it is a handoff to the big running back. Going to be a nice little gain for her. Expect the Wolverines to do this constantly now, just run down the clock as well. And these these body blows are, are really packing punches, packing punches and waiting for that haymaker to fly in again. It's been a solid game plan throughout this uh, this game today by the Wolverines. You should commentate on boxing, George. Well, if somebody would give me the chance, I think I'd... You know, I can't box either. Um, but That does not surprise me. I can wrestle sheep. So, second down here, second and four, uh, second and six, second and five, as they look to drop back and pass this time. And again, finding her in the soft spot in that zone. Look like late whistle there by the sounds of it. it Look like number three again. Sapala was the recipient of that ball. Once again, those conservative passing game. Nice and simple for a quarterback to uh, and execute. Yeah, really working for them. It's going to bring up a third and third and one, third and inches here. We'll just see it here on that replay. Uh, just fine. nice and simple. Yeah, safe pilot, straight in, stone straight on it. Got to get there earlier as a defensive back to knock well, the ball away. The thing I like as well on the hitch concept, the rece the receiver is in between the DB. Oh, and it's a fake, uh, fake sweep, and it's not going anywhere as they look to hand off and get a cheeky pass in. Why not? <laughs> it looked Why like uh, not? it looked like Martola was the uh, the pretend quarterback, shall we put it there? <laughs> Plenty of time initially before the pressure came, before the read was made, but not getting it anywhere. Even if it was caught there, it would have come up short. We'll see what they come up with here. 
perhaps they're in field goal range, perhaps they're going to try it on fourth. We've seen them try that uh, direct snap a number of times to the running backs. Um, Kusinen, of course, the target back on those plays. I'm all for seeing some more trick players. <laughs> Come all yeah, this way from Finland. Yeah, it certainly makes well. for an interesting game. Just a little bit of cramp by the looks of it there on the far sideline. And of course, as we've mentioned throughout today's game, it's not just about football when we've got this uh, injury timeout. Um, it is also about raising awareness and a little bit of money from the uh, for the Birmingham Children's Hospital. And you can find that on the Just Giving website, www justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash pro cloud trophy of course if you go on just giving and type it into the search bar pro cloud trophy it will also bring it up and i'm sure if you can offer anything at all it will be greatly received so you uh, you of course want to see some more trick plays Double reverse here or there, double reverse pass. Double reverse, some of that schoolyard messing around. Yes. Uh, if I, if I paraphrase <laughs> a famous uh, famous line, those that know. And it does actually look like they're going to try that direct snap with uh, the big running back lined up in the backfield. Say Palala wide, say Palala wide, and it's going to be a first down and more by the looks of it. Whether she gets in, I'm not quite sure. But a big, big pickup and not what the Lions will have wanted there. And that was Kusinen, Kusinen there with the pickup. Strong, strong running there. Nice big hole by the O-line o -line woman. Offensive line doing a great job all round. Unit that does not get enough credit. No, they really have. Um, we've not seen uh, throughout this game any sacks as far as I'm uh, aware, nor did we see any last night. Only one or two pressures on the quarterbacks throughout the game as well. Lining up here, first and goal, handoff this time to a different runner in the backfield. Uh, mentioned her name on a couple of the sweet plays earlier, uh, Kaper Linen. In front of any good quarterback, there'll be a very good offensive line. Uh, very much so. And proving it here in both passing, uh, pass protection and run blocking. Of course, we'd like to thank uh, Midshire for sponsoring today's event as well. And, uh, very pleased to have them on board. And they look here at second and goal. Let's see if they can do anything between the two of them. Cape Linen in the backfield still. As Kusin and Looks to roll out. Perhaps she's going to try and get in. She's going to be marked short. And a late flag on the play comes out as well. We'll see what that was called. Uh, Kusinen was very much looking to get into the touch, uh, into the end zone there, but not quite making it. Let's see which way this, uh, this flag goes. Perhaps it was a late hit out of bounds. I fear Law, I think, having a polite conversation with the referees about the timing of that hit. Yeah, Law, I think it's likely to be called on her, as you say. Uh, it's just difficult to tell from that angle, but uh, could well have been out of bounds. It's going to mark them. It is on Law by the looks of it. It's going to mark them about a yard, maybe two yards short of the end zone. Cape Linen still in the backfield that time, or well, this time should I say, and it is handed off to her as she tries to find a gap, and it looks like she's going to go into the score, no flag on the play, and in she goes, another six points on the board from the, for the team from Finland. They are doing a wonderful, wonderful job, the Helsinki Wolverines, much better offensive display tonight than they had yesterday. That smart offense there, run the ball, run the ball, chew the clock up, get to the end zone, nice little handoff. Make a bigger cushion for yourself. And will they get the extra point to boot? Oh, low snap, and actually it's gone wrong and brought down, wrapped up by the Lions. The extra point on that play is no good. 
So after that drive, it will put the Helsinki Wolverines at 32 to the Birmingham Lions, 8. Fire call there. Botch snap. Normally roll out and one of the tight ends or wing back will be there on a route, but l nothing there for the Helsinki Wolverines. Or another... Uh, I don't know if you've had a look around. There's some uh, other vendors with us today that have kindly come down to show some support. We've got the Peaky Squirrel, uh, unique and quirky gifts, uh, tournament memorabilia made from reclaimed wood. They are, uh, they've got some nice products. Actually, I had a quick look over there. Mama's wood fired pizza. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? Gorgeous pizza. Uh, Belly store, some coffee, coffee and cake. Uh, M Hedges catering as well down here, and ultimate ice creams, and of course. Football America and uh, would like to thank Ultimate Isis um, as I had three twisters from them earlier three. as Mata takes this ball upfield I should say that uh, Mata actually breaks oh. one more nice little pick up another little bit of cramp Mata doing a great job there I thought she was down for sure Ruth Matha, a strong, persistent runner, never stopping those legs from churning up the grass. Yeah, we just have another look on the replay. Just stops it with one hand there, like the backboard of a basketball net. Going upfield. And again, I thought she was wrapped up there. But Spin move. As you say, those legs just keep driving. Low centre of gravity and gets an extra few yards as well. Yeah, three twisters. Three twisters. They weren't all for me. Three twisters. So thank you to Ultimate Isis for supplying those. I say supplying those, I did have to pay. <laughs> Calls from the booth demanding free pizza. Uh, well, they are, you know, they are next door. Once we've got this injury timeout, they are next they door work to the hard. pizza booth. They do work hard. And what Onside have done, look, from the outside looking in, done a lot of good. Especially for the women's game, starting with the GB games versus Spain quite a while ago I think the women's game on, as a whole not just here in Britain but um, but across the globe have, uh, has really started to grow uh, really started to, ve to develop of course uh, Phoebe Schechter uh, prominent in that um, perhaps oh, fantastic. With, the, with this new uh, coaching contract she's gained with the Buffalo Bills and flying course, out today as well yeah, all the best we've seen Kenny her partner in crime as it might be called uh, the UK Dukes. Yes, yeah. uh, Kenny the UK of the Dukes. UK Dukes uh, sent her off to the airport. Um, he doesn't believe that Orchard Park's that pretty uh, and isn't willing to move yet, but uh, I'm sure he can be convinced. But no, all the best to her, and, and what a great display. Of, you know, it just shows if you want something bad enough, if you work hard enough, it doesn't matter what gender, what race you are, um, if you want something bad enough, you can get it. Oh, it's nice. It's nice seeing from the top down at the NFL, Phoebe getting that chance there as a season-long intern with the Bills, and then here with Baffa, the University of Birmingham, yeah. all coming together yeah, very for much. this and, event. And in the past, much like other sports, it's been a sport of men and, uh, and really starting to break down walls. Um, of these women and, and you know I wouldn't like to be stood in front of some of these oh uh, no they <laughs> are mean, ballers I, I certainly wouldn't be wanting to be on the field with uh, with the likes of Kusin and running at me um, well, she would drop me like a sack of potatoes last night the New York quarterback uh, Karen Mulligan incredible arm talent incredible yeah. velocity that you don't see very often and, uh, and as you say a real talent and experienced talent as well just a tell you what, there are a lot of male teams in Britball that could watch this and see how to play real football. Should also note um, that the Birmingham Lions this year have uh, added a second team to, really? uh, to the tournament. Interesting. Um, to uh, to the things in in Britain, and actually the second team, whilst the the main team won, the second team placed ninth nationally, and uh, and of course they've uh, they've been involved with the Staffordshire surge as well. During this, uh, this injury, we will just take a short break. See us in a minute. We are the official UK distributors of retailers for Riddell, Rawlings, Wilson Footballs, Nike and Under Armour. 
this gives us the largest range of products in the UK. We also offer team merchandise. We can supply a full range of clothing, all printed and embroidered in-house. Please feel free to visit our showroom at 8 Hill Lane Industrial Estate, Markfield, Leicester, LE 67, 9 p.m. So welcome back. We are still in an injury timeout. So as we uh, as we mentioned already, Football America have got their travelling shop down here today. If you are in need of anything, I know you're a field fashionista. I try, but not very well. You try. I'm pretty sure you got a uh, a long sleeve top and just cut the sleeve off and called it fashion. Is that so? vest? Vest. Was it a vest? No, I don't think if it was Bill a vest. Bill Belichick can cut sleeves off. Actually, I'm not even going to go down that route. Yeah, but uh, I, <laughs> I don't know that Bill Belichick cuts his own sleeves off. I mean. Like he does, but uh, yeah, I feel like you. I feel him. like you didn't even do it with a real pair of scissors. I feel like you just ripped them off. Get a knife, just cut it through. I don't know. I don't Playing know. Playing in summer, difficult. Playing in summer, but uh, of course they are down here today. New boots, helmets, shoulder pads, uh, gloves, and everything else to boot as well. And of course, if uh, if you are in need of a team, um, they do offer now a service checking out your kit. Um, to make sure it's safe to play helmets and shoulders. Um, I believe it's a free service, but um, it's, uh, it's a service that's well, looking, well worth looking into. Of course, you can get involved with the show today uh, using the hashtag on Twitter, Burr vs. Hell, B-I-R-V-S-H-E-L. We will take a look and see if we've had any more tweets come into us whilst we've got this break. I'm not quite sure what this injury has. We had a number of injuries last night, Tom. Uh, you mm. played on this surface. Um, you know, there was talk about uh, physios. I, I don't think particularly like 4G. It tends to slide a bit underfoot. Just tell us what it's like to play on this, this 4G surface. I think here, do you want a player's perspective? or A player's perspective. A player's perspective. Um, possibly the chance of injury is a lot higher, but everything else that comes with it, this surface in my mind, is the best surface to play on. Out of any team we'll go visit in the Prem, I mean, we've got it better than anyone else. Yeah, it is a fantastic facility Just here at, uh, at the University of Birmingham. No matter the weather, we can play, train. We don't miss out, and we're very lucky here what the University provides us. Another tweet coming into us from Michael Burmey. For those watching the game, I think Wolverines uh, American Football, at Wolverines American Football, running back 34, Taiti Kusinen, is your new favourite player, and she has dominated throughout. He also goes on to say, uh, hashtag Burr vs Hell, dot dot dot, ellipses, I think that's called. That's, uh, that's Hell, as in the North mythological underworld, not as in the Inferno of the Damned. Unfortunately, at the moment, we can't quite get a number on the, on the player that's down. Uh, look, we'll try and get that from... Uh, our cameraman that's up in the bird's nest. I think last night the, a lot of the injuries could be put down to the travel the, and players being a bit tight, especially the Americans yeah, from it, such it, a long, long trip. Yeah, I mean, to, to be fair, I think they landed Tuesday, but the uh, the Icelandic, uh, the Finnish team, should I say, uh, flew in yesterday and to be sat on a plane for long extended time it's not a long long flight but to be sat no, on a plane and then a coach as well it's it's not what you want a lot of travel won't benefit benefit no, very, very much so a couple of other tweets just popping up uh, prayers go out for uh, the injured Wolverines player here hopefully that's uh, that's from Michael Burmey again hopefully I'll be okay uh, MC Garrett at Shane O'Mac one we are on side enjoying the stream thank you very much for tuning in and uh, very pleased to have you watching this game throughout as the bell tolls and the, the game bell. the game nears so it looks or sounds like from the bird's nest and it does look actually as she stood up uh, it is number one of the Helsinki Wolverines uh, Janina Leyen is the player that's being carted off or carried off by uh, by the team medics it's good uh, to see her walking off under a own steam. Well, she's actually, it looks like she may oh, be may be being carried off there, which is a shame. But this game, we, of course, we, we do wish her all the best and 
unfortunately the, the last game of the weekend for the Wolverines but this game will get back underway 32-8 to, uh, to the Wolverines in the fourth quarter the Lions of course just receiving that uh, that kick off that big return by Mata spotting the ball on around about the Lions 43 yard line 44 maybe Kilby of course will be wanting to get some points on the board although it looks like they may have had a change of pace a change of staff in the backfield as it were I'll try and get you a number it looks like Natalie Parker number 18 yeah. Bruce Matter going back to that slot position a new running back as well uh, 25 Ashley Aston we'll see if she can get the game going as well so this new backfield combo Parker looking for Mata and it's nearly picked off. Nearly a repeat of that interception earlier from Kilby. Yeah, and that was Caro um, getting the interception. She got a uh, she got an interception earlier on in the game as well. Nearly a second for her as Parker looks for Mata. I think the Lions will be disappointed really with the performance they've put on today. Certainly, the first quarter making a number of mistakes. Mm. Not uh, not massive amounts of mistakes really here, but the offense of the Wolverines just being overpowerful, and uh, and the defense struggling to contain them. Parker oh. looking to hand the ball off this time, and finding a nice little seam as she steps two players, three players, and finding a way up the sideline for a short gain. After all the breaks, Ashley Aston in there. And, uh, and actually, I think they're going to give her the first down. A nice run by her, first run of the game. Just look at this here. Handoff was nice. Parker uh, also sells it nicely, trying to make the read mm. look good. Stepping, that was a nice step Lovely as well. Lovely duke there. Reads the blocks. Just getting out of bounds there. Trying to find a way upfield, but uh, tippy toes not quite working for her. And again... Parker this time under centre. She started in shotgun already a couple times, but see what she comes out with here as Mata motions across. And it is a pitch to Ainston. And she's going to get tackled for a loss as the defence comes flying through. Good opportunity for Natalie Parker. So what she can do with the first string. Loss of a yard there. Yeah, Ainston, a loss on that play after the big gain she previously had. It seems to be very much one step forward, two steps back for the Lions so far. It's a difficult situation. I don't think the score is very flattering and accurate of what's actually happened today. The Lions have definitely showed a lot of promise against a very, very talented Helsinki roster. Yeah, early on, mental errors, mistakes by the uh, Lions. Oh! And there goes the Scandinavian boom. The thunder comes in. What a hit. Wow. Oh. Wow. Good job by Parker there not to spill the ball out. Good to see her get up and walk to the sideline to get the next play. That's what you want to see from your field, General. Yeah, that's the first sack of the tournament. Ooh. We've had some big hits in this tournament so far. Yeah, and, and actually the majority of them coming from this Wolverines outfit. But really, Parker caught off guard and boom. What a noise as well with that contact. I love it. I love it when line. you hear that noise. It's one of my favourite sounds as Parker steps back. And it is a pass to Aston. And looking to find some space as she beats two tacklers and eventually wrapped up and brought down. It's going to be a nice little pickup for her. Nice stiff arm there as well. Good play that time. Well designed. Finding Aston wide open. Fourth down this time. I think that's I'm not quite sure what I can smell, but it smells something, lovely. Something smells sweet. I don't know if it's the the muffin shop behind us. It's making me hungry though. Trips right on this fourth down. 
Parker in a shotgun formation. Parker looking deep. Not quite sure who she's looking to as it's battered away by Pudis, number 33. Uh, I feel like the DB could have made a plan. I'm not quite sure whether she intentionally battered that away. Um, looking at where she'd have, if she had caught it there, she has to get back. Obviously, a fourth down, it was a turnover anyway. Um, while she doesn't get it on the stat sheet, it does put her offense in decent field position. Bit of miscommunication there from the Lions offense. And yeah, nobody there. Three Wolverines, but no Lions. So, change of quarterback for the Wolverines. That looks like number eight stepping in. Hamelainen. And it's a bobble snap, not the start she'd have been looking for. It will go down as a loss as she jumps on the ball. Hamelainen will carry on in quarterback. It wasn't her fault. It was a bad snap. Just checking with the sideline to make sure she's got the right call in. That's going to bring up second and 15. It will be second and 15, as our scoreboard suggests. The down marker on the far side is incorrect. So we'll see what they can do here. And there might be flags on the play for offside on the Lions. And it's a nice pickup and perhaps going to get a free five yards as well. It was number 16 of the Lions that made the tackle uh, size, but and it looked like it was Capelinen, the carrying player there. So the flag will be against the defense and they will have another chance of second down and a free five yards to boot. So it's going to put them in a second and eight spots on the field. You're a Lions coach here, what would you do? Call timeouts? Try and get another possession? Right, I think you'd like to get a score on the board, that's for sure. She looks to throw deep and it is caught. So a first completion for the new quarterback. Hamelainen. I believe we've just had our two-minute warning as well. Mm -hmm. So as you uh, as you rightly suggest, you know I think the Lions will want to get a another possession, but uh, you're certainly not going to win this game at this point. Um, I don't think it's too early to call that. It is 32-8, mm. but uh, I think you'd love to get another score on the board just to show you can get your offense working. I feel as a coach going into this weekend, you just want to find the positive, seeing this as the Lions preseason as well. Yeah, very much so as they hand off to Cape Line and finding a seam and going to go up the sideline for a first down. Nice gain by her. I mean, I think it's great to see such a, a wonderful stable of running backs. They've, they've run, uh, of course, Cape Line in there and, uh, and Kusin, um, the big, powerful running back we've had for the majority of the game. And they've, they've also run from a slot position in the likes of Keongas as well. It's, uh, it's been a great, uh, great day of running for them. And they've got the passing going as well. Nice, nice positive all-round offense for them. So we'll see if they just choose to run down the clock here. Certainly not going into victory formation. And it is another handoff and another seam is found. She's got out to the edge, but will she take it all the way to the house? She's not out of bounds. And it is a score. Another score for the Wolverines. And it is number 37 once again, Kilpalainen. Tell you something to watch out on this one. Number 71 for the Wolverines, Annie Alanko, a rookie, and put a mean double block, block there. Yeah, you just see the tail end of that block. Two Lions defenders put on the floor there. If you can take out two, that just leaves nine defensive players against ten. What a great play by her. Well spotted by you, Tom, as well. Full credit to the offensive line. 
Once again, the offensive line deserve more credit than they get. Second score for a keeper line in there. And a boot through the goalpost. Another point there for say parlor as well. They will be very, very happy with what they've put out today. 39-8. Not yeah. quite the scoreline I think anyone no. was expecting. But Getting a little bit out of hand. But like we said, it was those mistakes in the first half. The Wolverines capitalised on it. Yeah. The Lions didn't reply. Um, momentum really hasn't switched hands. Mm. Uh, the Wolverines have been dominant throughout. It's that game of momentum. So only maybe a minute left on the clock, if that, as they march this ball upfield, ready to kick off. Again, we'd uh, like to take the opportunity to thank uh, some of the sponsors of the tournament. Uh, Football America, of course, uh, the partner vendors. Um, the ProCloud um, company as well, ProCloud, based in Litchfield, Staffordshire, uh, selling a creative software solutions product. Um, Thank you kindly to both of those for sponsoring today uh, and this tournament, the teams involved. And of course today's sponsor, we can't forget them, Midshire. Um, and you can find them as my paperwork blows everywhere as the wind picks up. You can find them at www.midshire.co.uk. The details there are on the screen for you. Thank you Mr Henley for picking up my paperwork it was your duty to be paperboy so we'll see if the Lions can muster anything here in what is likely to be the final drive of the game I'm sure they'll want to get a score but still got Parker in the backup quarterback although she's uh, got a decent start to the game Ainston there is going to receive the handoff as she steps one in the backfield and actually done a great job and going to pick up maybe a yard. Pressure really coming through from that interior mm. of the defense. A lot of lateral running there for not much. And that looks like it may well be the game, but we will wait to see. I believe it was a Birmingham timeout. Some confusion perhaps, but uh, I think you are correct. A timeout may well have been called. A lot of whistles seem to go mm. up there. So what do you do here as a coach, Tom? You obviously, we've, we've discussed they'd like to get a score on the ball, but they've got their backups in as well. You've obviously got the game coming up tomorrow against the New York Sharks. Um, you've got to be prepared for that. What do you do to, one, prepare for that, and, and two, just get things going all round? Um, not shy away f from acknowledging mistakes made in the first half. Accountability and ownership of those will probably be the most important things. And Parker finds her receiver that time. A big move by that receiver to get some extra yards. It looked like it was number 80. Jody Harris with her first pickup of the game. And another timeout is called. Found wide open that time is Jody Harris. Just showing that she can also put a big hit in as she just stumbles to her knees going through that player, that uh, defensive back. See what the Lions can bring up. You've already called for a bit of a trick play. Always time for a double reverse. <laughs> you want to see that double reverse? It's almost like you know that the Lions might have that in the play. Oh, I, I, have no, I honestly have no clue, sadly. They line up in that uh, triple threat that trips to the right. Aston in the backfield. Parker ready to receive the snap. As the cheers come up from the Helsinki defense, trying to put the Lions off, and it's a pass. Oh, and it's dropped. It will have gone backwards, so of course it'll be downed as a fumble, no doubt. We'll see if they do call it like that. And that is the game.
and that will leave us with a final score of the Helsinki Wolverines 39 and the Birmingham Lions, the host of the tournament, 8. Tough, tough day for the Lions that first half. Too many mistakes there made. Yeah. Unfortunately not able to claw themselves back in. The Lions will be very much left licking their game. Less than 24 hours to prepare for the next one. New York Sharks. One win for the Sharks, one win for the Lions. Uh, sorry, one win for the uh, the Wolverines. It would be interesting to see if all three teams get a win. I think it's a very, very difficult call and challenge for the Lions to pick themselves up after this one, but hopefully they can bring up a shock result tomorrow because that would be fantastic. So in a moment, you will be joining us pitch side uh, just after these adverts. We are the official UK distributors and retailers for Riddell, Rawlings, Wilson Footballs, Nike and Under Armour. This gives us the largest range of products in the UK. We also offer team merchandise. We can supply a full range of clothing, all printed and embroidered in-house. Please feel free to visit our showroom at 8 Hill Lane Industrial Estate, Markfield, Leicester, LE 67, 9 p.m. So welcome back. You are now pitch side with us. Very shortly, we will have the uh, MVP uh, announcements. We'll we'll hear that uh, by our very own Jay Alexander, who sat next to us uh, announcing things today. He is a man with very, uh, I don't know, I was going to say brains, but he just seems to know a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Talented boy from Brum. No, um, we are believed or, or told uh, that it's likely to be the number 12 of the Helsinki Wolverines that... Uh, that, of course, is Kosinen, uh, the quarterback from the first three quarters. But we'll, we'll wait to hear that. Perhaps Stone would be a shout um, mm. for the Lions. Definitely. She's had a remarkable game today with that interception one-handed, of course, and then the fumble recovery. Just, you may just catch it over our announcement. Oh, that's an interesting choice. Uh, Ruth Matter. These uh, these env these invite then the MVPs. MVPs. I'm, I'm trying to get words out my uh, my mouth later on today. Uh, Ruth Matter announces MVP there for the Birmingham Lions. These MVPs are voted by the opposition team. Uh, my choice would have perhaps been for Stone, who obviously had that interception, the forced fumble and the fumble recovery as well, showing the defensive backs can play football, Mr. Henley. Of course, but Ruth Matter always deserves some form of acknowledgement. And as, we, and as we say there, the, uh, the MVP for the Wolverines is Kutunen, the quarterback. And you can just see her there collecting her award. And just looking at that scoreline at the bottom, 39-8. Uh, the Wolverines didn't just run all over the lines. They really got everything going on offense and defense yeah. and special teams as well. Dominating performance there. Yeah, they really did. Um, great advertisement for the women's game, of course. Just sum up the, the final half for you, for us. Those Wolverines extending that cushion, just ground and pound. They had a formula that worked running the football. No one stopped them. Yeah, very much a team that stuck to the game plan throughout today. Um, he wanted to run the ball. And the, uh, the option to put in Kosinen uh, at quarterback as well. Uh, really worked out a different yeah. style of quarterback over Tiernan that they played out last night. Well, that zone option today caused havoc. Just yards after yards was 
coming from such a simple play. Yeah, it uh, it it was uh, was incredible to see. Of course, the Lions had some great moments as well. Um, you see these highlights come up on your screen in just a second. Ruth Mata early on had that uh, that touchdown that was called back due to a hold. We thought that could have gone the Lions' way, uh, but didn't quite work out there. But um, then really, they didn't really get Ruth Matter going after that, which was disappointing. Uh, they tried this pitch play that uh, you can just see on your screens there a number of times. And this is actually the play where she broke free, got all the way upfield. And when she can get free, uh, really does uh, show what speed she has. Mm. But after this play, the Wolverines really shut her down and didn't allow anything. Of course, um, we had some great defensive plays as well from the Lions. Um, we've named her already Stone. I think we're just about to get that on your screen. This one-handed interception, which was phenomenal from, from any player. Um, if you said defensive backs can't catch, and out she goes to, uh, to prove you wrong. It and wasn't an orthodox catch. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very much so. But, uh, of course, both teams had, uh, had some great plays. Uh, Wolverines defensively were absolutely phenomenal. And offensively, had some had some wonderful times as well. Some big plays, um, <laughs> and we just see behind us the uh, the coaches having a a wonderful time after that big win, team photo, and this uh, is that deep throw there and that one-handed pick from Stone. Uh, for me, um, despite the despite the uh, the big plays from both squads, for me as a defensive back, former defensive back, although my non-athletic physique. Um, doesn't show it anymore. <laughs> uh, that was a great play Did all round. So, uh, and this, of course, that touchdown from the quarterback Kilby, and a nice grab in the end zone to boot. That's the only score of the Lions as uh, Lions Day as well. So, it's a shame because the Lions could have have so much potential that realistically, the score should be a lot closer on the day. But yeah, but the Wolverines, you know, they came out. And I think they've shown to uh, to everyone at home, um, despite the game not 24 hours ago. I think we finished down here just after 10 o'clock last night, yeah. um, kicking off and and really showing what they can do, showing what they can play football, despite uh, very little rest between games. Yeah, it's remarkable. I've I know a lot of teams that couldn't do it, having a game finish at 10:30 and you've got to go again less than 24 hours later. Yeah, very much. We can just see there. Uh, Continent, the change of quarterback from last night, uh, that complete touchdown to Sapala on that rollout, great play by her as well. Um, and it's uh, you know it's been been a wonderful game, uh, great choice to switch in. Yeah. Um, the Lions clearly couldn't cope with the uh, with the dynamic play, no. the uh, the extra additional play um, that she brought to the game. Well, when you have a quarterback that can run around, it adds another dimension. If you have to have a spy to account for that or bring someone else into the box, try and mark well women up. But the Lions didn't make those adjustments it seems, so a mobile quarterback ran all over them today. Yeah. So very, very shortly um, after they've had their team breakdown, we will be getting in uh, getting in touch, I hope, with uh, the Helsinki Wolverines head coach um, to have a quick word with him about the game. Um, looks like he may be coming over to us now. Um, he's uh, He's... I think he'll be happy with today's performance. Oh, he has to be, especially after a turnaround, such a short turnaround. Yeah, very for much a team so. to put a dominating performance on today. You'd be happy as a coach, you'd have to be. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough loss yesterday. I think that game could have gone easily their way. Mm. Um, but for them to come up 39-8 so victors, they'll be, they'll be very, very happy. Uh, and it does look like he's second. Just see him in the back <laughs> of the, uh, the camera here yeah, coming in. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> How are you doing, coach? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah. Good game. Yeah, yeah, we had a great game. <laughs> and just if you if you look at the bottom of that screen in front yeah. of us, it'll show you what the final score was: thirty-nine-eight. Yeah. Impressive turnaround from last night. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> we 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 seem seem to be better at second halves, in in games and in tournaments. Yeah, very much so. Your first <laughs> half not as slow as yesterday. Uh, yeah. Your special teams unit played some phenomenal football yeah. as well. Just talk us through that after you got that uh, that early pump block. Yeah, we've we've liked to be very aggressive on the on the punt returns or the punt blocks, and uh, well, it, it did turn turn the momentum quite well. 
that we were able to get the uh, two possession lead in that at, at that point. Uh, and we've always trusted our special teams. Uh, it's 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 brought us two championships in Finland as well. Uh, San, Sanni kicks, ama- like she, she's one of the best kickers in Finland, and uh, our our other special teams are are great as well. And after that play, the momentum really stayed with you throughout yeah. the day. Of course, your offense played very very well. Yes. Uh, got the passing game working. Yes. Uh, happy happy with how things went. Uh, yeah yeah. So, uh, we we didn't really change a lot. Uh, of course, we called a, uh, our play calling was a bit different in comparison to um, to the um, game yesterday, and um, ad- ad- adding the element of, of of the quarterback run was also 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 a thing that we we were able to do with Pia. Uh, Pia and Minna, they're they're a bit different quarterbacks. Minna's more of a pocket pass passer. Uh, Pia's, Pia can make plays with her feet as well. Yeah, that dynamic that you brought, the yeah. Lions, once you got that read option play going, the, yeah. the Lions really couldn't stop that and yeah. you guys really did a great job moving yeah. the football. Um, yes. You had that uh, that motion play that you use quite a lot as well, it almost yeah. looked like a triple option play. Um, just talk us through that because the Lions at, at no point looked like they could stop it. Yeah, uh, we decided to bring some, some something new that we hadn't shown shown before it, it's been in a play playbook the whole season season and the uh the jet sweep plays that we played uh it it, it opened up nicely the also the inside run because uh the lions didn't seem to be able to um adjust to it well enough and of course uh, your defense yeah. just played phenomenal throughout yeah, uh, yes. ruth matter the key player for the lions offense mm-hmm. not not gaining anything again you shut down another prominent running game yes uh our our, our run defense is good and uh it's it's uh, it's pretty much the defensive line and the linebacking core it's it's very solid for us and we have we have a deep deep uh a deep depth chart there so uh we're able to put people in uh and our 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 produ- production doesn't end there uh, really positive mm. showing uh throughout today and uh, and yeah and yesterday as well you yes. you certainly showed glimmers throughout that uh, that second half are you guys staying on to watch the final game tomorrow? Yes, we're we're leaving on Monday, so uh, we're 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 going to be for the whole tournament. Well, that's that's really nice to hear, coach. Yes. Hopefully you've enjoyed today. Hopefully you've enjoyed t- uh, seeing what uh, what we've had so far, and hopefully tomorrow will uh, will be another good day of football. Um, look forward to to seeing you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll speak to you uh, off camera, perhaps. Yes. We'll let you get on and celebrate. No doubt you uh, you and the team will want to celebrate such a big victory as well. So. Thank yes. you, Coach, for uh, for speaking to us. Yeah, thanks. Not a it's problem. been a pleasure. Yeah. So we're going to try and get one of the Lions head coaches, or one of the Lions coaches, should I say, um, very, very shortly. Coach Kilby, I'm sure, <laughs> might, be, might be trying to avoid talking to us after such a, a big loss, not something the Lions face very often. We've talked a number of times about Phoebe Schechter today and what she's achieved, uh, perhaps a big loss, as well as Michelle Quinn um, at the offensive line position. If we can get one of these coaches, I'm sure they'll talk us through uh, through what's, uh, what's happened today um, as teams are off celebrating and tidying up the field behind us. I'd just like to take this, uh, this second to, uh, to say again, this tournament, whilst the football here has been of a great display, just like to uh, to say that it's not just about the football it is about raising some uh, some funds and some awareness for the Birmingham Children's Hospital um, you can find that campaign on the Just Giving website if you search in Pro Cloud Trophy in the search bar you will find that as well as that again we'd like to thank all our sponsors today for the events and the team sponsors of course Pro Cloud for bringing out this uh, this wonderful, wonderful uh, tournament, hopefully the first of many. Um, We've seen a number of vendors, including Football America, down here today. So very much um, a a number of people surrounding the club and surrounding the tournament to bring a a great, uh, great weekend of football to you. We will now be joined by Coach Kilby of the Birmingham Lions. Um, He will uh, be joining us now. Come on in, Coach. How you doing? I'm okay. We got a little bit of static there. All right. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if you felt it. Huh? No, 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 I didn't. I, I'm electric I'll today. Probably gave so. you. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, um, I was looking at that scoreline there. Not quite what you wanted to see today. No, disappointing day today. Uh, you know, the big run comes to an end. It happens to us all. Uh, tough day at the office, uh, without a doubt. They, they are a quality side. 
Uh, even when we played them a few years back, we knew that they were going to develop. They'd only just gone through their merger with the Demons and all the rest of it. I think we caught them a little bit offside, you know, back then. Um, they proved they're a class act. You know, the Maple League is pretty competitive. Yep. They've won that twice on the back without too much strength. So, you know, hats off to, hats off to them. They've got athletes in abundance on both sides of the ball and I think that you know that really shone through in the end ultimately you know, how, uh, how detrimental then has it proven to, uh, to be missing some of your key players Schechter and Quinn yeah obvi obviously you know th that was a massive a massive issue uh, I think the game was 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 obviously won and lost at the, at the line of scrimmage today they controlled the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball which made it impossible for us to establish our running game. And, you know, we couldn't stop their run. They were running at will, you know, against our defence. I mean, their running back must have got 100 yards today. Easily oh, yeah, a very, very strong runner for yeah. sure. Uh, obviously, you guys are in a similar situation now as to uh, how, how the hell Sinky team was last night. You've got mm. a game in less than 24 hours Correct. against uh, the New York Sharks. How are yeah. you guys going to go about uh, preparing for that? Yeah, well, we'll just go back now. We'll go through film. I mean, we know what the, the Sharks are going to do. We need, just need to analyse where our mistakes were and try to try to correct any, you know, blaring key errors that we can do to, uh, you know, get things get things rolling again. Um, rest and recuperation as much as we can, really, and then go at it, go at it again tomorrow. Certainly shows some promise throughout. Uh, Stone, Nancy Stone, of course. Um, Had a great so game today. Great game. Yeah. Uh, a pick, uh, one-handed pick. And yeah, we've, uh, we've got that. I, I missed it actually. No. I, I oh didn't, no, I didn't see it. I just saw her no. charging down the field and everyone screaming. Yeah, yeah. no, one one handed interception from her, a forced fumble and a fumble recovery as well yeah. to boot. Um, there's uh, there's defensive players out there that really stepped up. Yeah, offense just didn't seem to get things firing up. Are you no, no, d d definitely. You know, we couldn't. T I mean, they they obviously game plan to shut Ruth down, and they did exactly that to us today. And uh, we just we just didn't we just didn't have an answer for it, to be honest. And so it sounds like if the Sharks have watched this game today, they might may come out in a similar similar style defence or certainly look to take away the same key players. Yeah. Have you got anything hidden away in the playbook that we might see tomorrow? Uh, a couple of a couple of things we'll have to wait and, we'll have to wait and see, but uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely going to be uh, it's going to be a th it's going to be another tough day tomorrow without without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, you know, the Sharks are banged up; they've lost two or three two or three of their you know their key players, so that could play in our favour. You know, a weakened side. You know the line goes goes both ways a fair bit as well, so we'll see. We'll see it. We'll see how it goes. Coach, we'll let you get off to your team. Um, I'm sure you've got plenty of things to do in preparation yeah. for tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you kindly for speaking to us, and we look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. No problem at all. Thanks Thank again. You. Cheers. So you heard it there from Coach Kilby. Plenty to work on. We would like to thank you all at Onside Productions from myself, George Lees, uh, John on the camera as well as Alex Tom Henley wherever he may be he's wandered off somewhere Tom Howe and Shane in the uh, in the van as well working on the production side of things and of course uh, Joe Walker for kindly stepping in pre-game from us here at Onside we wish you all the best and a good evening <laughs>